and it's going to be a great clash this afternoon. All right, opening guard uh, bounce. Richmond taking on the Dockers umpires this afternoon. Shane Stewart, Ray Chamberlain and Chris Callens underway. Sanderlands early with the knee into Graham. Just a lazy 53 hitouts last week for big Sanderlands. <laughs> 53. Fair job, career high. Graham will put it high. Rewalt to fly, gets up way too early. Bouncing ball back of the pack. Miller shut down by Iberson. It's a dangerous ball. Grover kept alive by the Tigers. Fremantle under early pressure. They work it free for the moment. Broughton, quick kick. Bouncing ball. Great early matchups for it. David Mundy is going with Trent Potch, and they're going to go head to head. That'll be a ripper. Yeah, so, I think McPhee's gone to uh, Delidio as well. Surprised by that matchup? Well, as we speak, uh, he's tried to go to Pavlich, Trent Cochin. Cochin, there's the kick on cue round the corner up towards Vickery in front of Johnson. Bouncing ball, Jake King. He's there to put that sort of pressure on. Edwards kept it alive. Nahas, opening shot on goal. Bouncing ball. Tigers off to a fly. And, and Nahas as well. I think he did it last week getting the first goal of the game. Good to have Jack Rewalt and Vickery down there to provide a big long bomb in, but Nahas is just going to get front and square and make the most of his opportunities. He's a good hard in and under player, and uh, as we said, we've got him and King down there to do that today. So uh, a good start by Richmond is exactly what they needed to do, is to have a fast start, get uh, Fremantle onto the back foot, don't let them settle in to the MCG. So perfect start for Richmond. Dream start for Richmond. Robin Nahas, one goal to go with his three goal one from last week. He was goalless up until that game. Uh, that's just the start that Damien Hardwick would have asked for his players, as Mark Rusciuto said in the preview, that uh, they haven't won a first quarter this year. But that's an encouraging start for Richmond. Small crowd at the MCG, overcast conditions. Sanderlands, shark by Mundy, squeezed the handball to Pavlich. A little bit too much on it. Martin dispossessed. Good contest, the old and the new. Mundy, good tackle by Newman. A little bit unlucky. Ridden into the back, free kick to Mundy. It'll be the first time they get a chance to actually go forward in the first few minutes of this match, the Dockers. And a good early test for the Tigers' defence. They've got plenty of numbers back. Big fly by Pavlich. Clean grab over the top, stole it off Cochin. Well, that's just better judgment. I mean, Trent Cochin was in front. He actually leapt to try and take the mark, but he misjudged it. He was underneath the footy, and uh, Matty Pavlich, this is the one area of his game that has let him down. We know he's a star <laughs> player. He's dominated uh, for the Doggers for many, many years, but this is where he has his biggest problem when he's looking at those two big white sticks. One goal eight in front of goal. He's only blemished in an otherwise terrific season once again. Let's see. If he can be perfect, Pav, he can't. That's where he misses a lot of them. He picks a lot of them right. And he actually looks to have a good approach to the footy. You just have to think it's more psychological than it actually is technique for Matty Pavlich. Well, it's a fair, fair thing to say, Chief. He doesn't miss by a lot. No, because he has a nice straight run-up and he's normally a very good kick of the footy. But we know that goal kicking is as much above the shoulders as it is about technique. McGuan, Sanderland thumps it sideways. Mundy to DeBoer. Nahas, like his energy. Pavlich goes again. Got to shut down the big three, according to Glenn Jakovic. Pavlich, Sanderlands, and Mundy. You know, I saw Robin Nahas last week, I reckon, play just about his best game for Richmond. He's coming up the field, he's getting involved more, and he's really enjoying the freedom of running around. So does Edwards. Weaves through traffic. Jackson back in after a suspension. Quick kick. Attacking it was Johnson. He'll reload, Mundy, now it's McPhee, had to go, good contest by Delidio. Gee, they've got Noah's on the far side of the ground, if he can switch it up, Delidio. He should have, but he ignores it. Chipping yeah. ball, not yeah. good. Wrong option. Oh. Dropped by Johnson, and lead him up. A fair bit of the early play inside Richmond's forward 50. McPhee's just given one to Delidio in the midriff, the umpire didn't see it. Got away with one there. Fife, fight the handball, Newman, knew traffic was coming behind but didn't know when. Lower, up towards Ballantyne, goes to ground, and still oh, manages it. to <laughs> take the mark! How does that happen? Kepler Bradley won out with Rance. And he goes in that direction, kick is good! Couldn't take the mark. Almost gets in the way of a teammate, great control, round the corner, where's Main? He won't get there in time, good work by Grimes. Main worries him out of it, gives off a handball, Hill 
Smooth mover, goes back by foot. That's a nice patient build-up from Fremantle. On for a left footer too, proving he's got a right foot. A nice little chip pass there from Hill. <laughs> Sorry, Swanner. <laughs> Cheap. Don't take Jason, it personally. <laughs> not at all. Got this. If it's him with possession, though. Will take his best. Will kick from outside 50. Tigers with the opening goal. The boot of Robin Nahas. Ibbotson pulls the trigger. It's a wobbling ball. Does it get the carry? No, good defensive no, print. No. I think that might be over, in fact. Another discussion coming. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Ibbotson with Fremantle's first goal. She was an ordinary kick off the boot. It was a dead set floater. I reckon it went out to the right and then came back left. But you don't mind when they go through. Take them. It was a real wobbler, but we just saw the way that the Dockers kept the ball alive. It was Main with the hand pass to Hill. And I'm, I'm deadly serious. Not many left footers <laughs> kick so well on their right foot. It's just a, it's just a fact of it. Have a look at that kick. That is a mongrel punt that just came back and got there. Just a, a good second goal for the, for the Dockers. Year too. First goal to Garrick Ibbotson, his first for the season. Playing at half back too, boys. Well, he does come up the ground, uh, Naha, so the problem there is you're going to drag your opponent up as well. Jackson going to Pavlich. Graham went early and did well, took the space of Sanderlands. Get it to White. Wheels around, chisels the ball to Miller. It's ball by Grover. Hill. Good hand ball. To Mundy. Happy to share it. And I worked the outer side. McPhee on the stretch. Couldn't take the mark. Richmond with numbers. Nahas again. Darting little run. Got it to Jackson. The give, the go, the getting. He'll put it towards the broadcast side. Bouncing ball for Hooley. Has a bit of space. Miller. Spotted oh, in. You've got to hit that target. He had him, but he had time to gather the ball. Feeding handball. This is good work. Conker tried to get it to Hooley. Dockers defenders shut it down. Gee, the kick from Hooley was disappointing. I mean, Brad Miller's worked hard in space. He'd competed with Grover on the other side of the corridor. He worked back as soon as they lost possession. And it was a simple kick under no pressure that cost him a shot at goal. Sanderlands parked his big frame in front. King, Conker, eventually Hooley. No-look handball. Bachelor off a step towards Miller. He's got three to beat. You know, it, it's hard not to be impressed with their defensive structure. Really. Yeah, they've got three good keys in McFarlane. They've got Johnson. They've also got Grover. And then Broughton. you get the likes of Broughton and those guys. Risky kick goodness. from Pitt. Pavlich went hard. Thought it might have been high on Jackson. Umpire didn't agree. Jackson goes again over the top. He did dive on the ball. This will be interesting. And Jason, you mentioned about Greg Broughton coming back. He had a sore back last week. And with Subin dropping out with that uh, broken leg. He certainly gives him a bit of bite and rebound from that half-back line. Just keep your eye on uh, McPhee. Just giving yeah. a nudge to Delidio. Disguised it pretty well. Got away with it. Going to have a tough day, Delidio, I think. With, uh, well, physically, well, anyway. Might be a bit too quick for McPhee. What do you think? Well, Delidio's been a, a, a terrific performer for Richmond. And some say he should be in the midfield, but he does it so well at half-back. It's a big job for McPhee, actually. Graham decisively to conquer. Pinned his ears, backs himself in and pushes it wide of the mark. Very wide indeed, out of bounds on the foot. Well, they're a point behind, but what I like about the Tigers is they're creating opportunities. They're, they're having their share of the footy and they're getting plenty of opportunities forward. In fact, they lead the inside 50s 7 to 2. Yeah. Need to convert that though to yeah. uh, scoreboard pressure. Sanderlands keen to move it in the direction of Palmer. McPhee, the boys said, job on Delidio. That's good offensive work. Pavlich paddles it to himself, keeps it to himself. Put a handball into Van Burlow's path. Good tackle. Good tackle. Great tackle by Bachelor. Reward and that tackle, please. Should be holding the ball. That's to be. In actual fact, they waited to see if he could get the ball out of the ball, but he <laughs> should have been pinged before that because it was a beautiful tackle that he made no attempt to dispose of the footy from. Conker, the boy from WA. Delidio's running on hard, McPhee going with him. Got to use him and, and really try and hurt McPhee. There it is. Good, Good kick. kick. Yeah. Nahas, and again, Delidio down the line, Cochin. And that's good, you've got to reward the hard running. And look up. Crowded forward line. He puts it to Rewalt, he drags him forward, he wanted him to come at him, he eventually got there. It might have looked like a great kick, but at least it was out in front where Jack Rewalt can run and jump at the footy, so at worst, 
He's going to halve the contest and bring it to ground. They get a stoppage to reset. That's a small win. Absolutely. White from the throw in. High ball. Float Big contest. Getting back. Good luck marking it. Vickery <laughs> attacked it. Unkind bounce. Favoured Johnson. Putting a disastrous year behind him last year. Six week club imposed suspension. Richmond, another turnover. Penetrating ball wide. Well, he's, I guess he's a combination Ruckman forward Tyrone Vickery, but he's got, to, he's got to work out a way to compete better. That big high floating ball, he started man on man, but when the ball bounced, the Dockers player, Johnson, lobbed onto it three or four metres clear. He just lost his balance turning around. And that's what his uh, instructions would be. Tried to get it to the ground and then run off him. Peace to Palmer. And eventually lower to Hill. He beautifully delivers it to Mayne. An easy movement of the ball. Yeah, they ran hard. They had numbers up. And the hardest, what, the hardest thing for, for defenders to actually defend against are the forwards running back towards goal. And it's difficult to try and track the footy and also track your opponent. Yeah, the press is all well and good, but you've got to have a tight press. If you let them get through as easily as that, then the, then the defenders have got no hope on their forwards. Didn't kick a goal two weeks ago in there. Hard fought win against the Bulldogs, eight for the year. Pick number 40 in the 07 National Draft. What a weapon inside 50 now for Freeman. Chris Main rides the kick. It can't come back enough. Risky decision, and Moan will get a second shot, much, much better angle. Man, a few of them going over to tell Dustin Martin about it. I reckon Reese Palmer will be on the uh, receiving end if he tries to get in the face <laughs> of Dustin Martin. There's uh, Adam McPhee. Not a lot of toughness when players get in, get in the face of a player that's made an error, but I guess they're trying to get a psychological advantage. Well, a chance to kick his ninth goal for the year. Second shot in the last 30 seconds. Main from 35. Oh. That's a let off. Big let off. They said, uh, Jacko said before the game, they need to make the most of their opportunities. They're last in the competition for efficiency, and already we're seeing them one goal three from a couple of easy shots like that. You just got to kick those goals. Brett Delidio seen enough from Dustin Martin kicking it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, Good young leadership. man. Good you leadership. Know, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, maybe that Dustin should get it back. Up. But at least that's further from goal. Yeah. Ballantyne. He'll put it up towards Bradley. Richmond defenders combined. Poor bounce. Well, an unkind bounce on Edwards. Ballantyne again. Centering high ball. Hangs in the air. Fremantle with numbers. Big fly back of the pack, Van Burlo. Dustin Martin hasn't had a touch. The reason he went and took that kick out is often on ballers when they're not getting the footy, they like to go back yeah. and just get a feel of the footy. Yeah. Nahas has been busy again. Kick was from Delidio, Bachelor. Blood rule here. So just picking up your point about Dustin Martin and David Mundy, do you change anything at the moment too? Are you happy with no, the it's, it's, it's Cochin and Mundy. Cochin and Mundy that are, that are going at it. Jackson's playing on uh, Pavlich. Uh, DeBoer. DeBoer's been going on Martin. Martin. There yep. you go. But I don't mind that. I like seeing quality midfielders go head-to-head -head like Cochin and Mundy. And, and you back your player in until it's not working. Yeah. Risky kick, Greek. War one. She worried about a couple of their options down back. But they've shown this ability to still pull the trigger and back themselves in. That's a suggestion that Confers is slowly building. Yep, absolutely. Conquer, first year of AFL football, played every game. Should play on it. Yeah, so look, yeah. they're, they're happy to be deliberate when there's nothing really on, and that's fine. They'll be patient, they'll chip the ball around, but when there is an opportunity to play on, they will. Nahas again. That's good zoning from Freo. It actually made them kick it to an area that was more a contest than a, than a chip to a free player. And he's had the most possessions of any player on the ground, Robin Nahas with seven, the best for Fremantle. Mundy with four. Sanderlands just monstered Vickery into the path of Pavlich. The left kick. foot kick is beautiful. We said Fremantle was good work there to uh, restrict the Richmond defence from running their ball out. Fremantle being the best in the competition this year at putting pressure on the opposition with their kick. They've only allowed them to hit the target 61% of the time. So uh, that means that their press is good, that means it's tight, and that means there's not much room for error with the defensive kicks. Jay Van Burlo, younger brother of Nathan from Adelaide, career best four goals against the Dogs in round five. From 49 metres, it's a measured approach. It's on its way. Another miss. Well, that's the other thing that happens is when you start to miss, it becomes contagious. 
then it starts to get in the heads of all the players. The other thing we said, Richmond, before the game, they need to tighten up their defence. Fremantle have had six inside 50s in this game, and uh, they've got one six goal, shots, five. Six shots a goal from their six, six from inside six. 50s. Yeah. Newman, poor kick, Sandilands, always going to mark it. I'll put it forward again. It's a chipping ball. Not sure that was the intended target, but it got to the ball. The layoff to Duffield, who measure the option. Good work by Grimes, shut it down, away go Richmond. They work it free. Is that a lefty that didn't have a right foot? <laughs> and eventually, they managed to do it. Nahas, another possession. Switch and take them on, they've got a switch here. Chipping ball, Cochin. Yeah, they've certainly got numbers out here waiting for it. Now, if he goes quick, Hooley, they're on. That's what they're going to do, they've got to take them on. Just needs to get the carry. It was a good effort by Grimes. No, it was Rance. It's a loose ball. It's alive again for Fremantle. Fife runs away from Conker. Yeah, poor tackle from Conker. He had the chance to nail it. And they'll patiently reset again. Ibbotson, darting ball to McPhee. Controlling possession inside their forward half. Fremantle now. The Hurley turnover, it was the right decision to change direction. It was just the wrong option of the three that he had to actually do it with. Second option for McPhee was to square the ball nicely. Mundy. A lot of Richmond players back now. Just about kick it, Woody Munn. He's a he's beautiful, beautiful kick. Of the foot, isn't he? I think now he's just decided, I'm a chance. Although, gee, where the mark is, he's going to have to kick it for 58 metres yep. with a drop punt. And he's got Gary Gibbotson on his right-hand side here. Now Newman shut that down by dragging Jackson up. He's going to give this a ride. It'll be a big kick. What a player he's been. Beautiful. It is a big looking bomb that has almost got oh. the line. In. No, she has touched. I mean, to maintain the accuracy when you're at the real end of your tether as far as the range of your kick is concerned is a, a wonderful skill to possess. And he didn't deviate from his normal type of kick. He's been a very durable player. Took him a while to get going. 135, 137 possible games for David Mundy. Have a look at that for a kick in. That's a very nervous kick in. They're in a the worse spot. I wonder why coaches go grey or lose their hair. Rewalt, the big leap. Brought it to ground almost by default. Nahas again from Edwards. Well, he had nothing to kick to further afield. That's why he chose to run back and try and link up. He takes it upon himself. Great He's run down. Great pressure. But all he could see was a sea of white jumpers further yeah. afield. So they had to try and maintain possession. Just didn't have enough support. And now controlling it inside their attacking half, Fremantle. After Richmond kicked the opening goal off Nahas. Ibbotson, the only other goal scorer. Fancy Pierce goes wide. Kick to Mayne. See, I don't like that. Sean Grigg, he, he was responsible for Mayne and he zoned off. He just thought, well, they're not going to kick it to him out there. And they did. You take it. I mean, it's OK to zone space, to cover space, but you've also got to cover your man. Two behinds for Chris Mayne in this opening quarter. Tough shot. And yeah, this is the toughest of the three by miles, so he's probably a moral to kick it after missing <laughs> a couple of regulation shots. Come around a bit. To extend it out to an 11-point lead in the field of play. Kick is wide across the pack. Big fly by five. I think that's a mark. I, play on to call. I thought it was a mark, and a few of his teammates think so too. A bit stiff, and there's a surprise. Hayden Ballantyne just having a chat. Edge of the square. Fremantle in search of their second goal. Ballantyne. And now McPhee. Richmond. Grimes. Safety. Well, I reckon they were very, very stiff there, the Dockers. Nathan Five looked like he'd taken a beautiful mark. It wasn't paid. He'd be the judge. He looks like he gets hands on it there, and then he that's brings a it out. That's a, that's that's a grab. Conker with a high Nahas. ball. Nahas has got to do the big man work, and he did it OK. He did well. Jakey King puts it forward. Martin, one out, foot race with the ball. The ball gets him for pace. Martin got him with the ball Good and tackle. possession. Good work. Great contest. Look at the numbers for Fremantle. Monday mops up to lower the pressure. He was really slow to react, Dustin Martin, up forward there. He actually it's should have got the ball Almost looked slow, didn't he? He didn't go for it to start with. Fremantle winning the contested possession early. Fremantle 29, Richmond 17. Pavlich in the rucking roll. Fife did well. And then let himself down. Newman switching the middle now. Darting kick. half volley, clean pick up by Conker. The run from Edwards. This is better. Numbers. Now they push forward. Can go to Hawley, can think about bombing it long. Big 
big, long ball, deep, got the carry, what a goal! Fremantle had all the play for the last uh, five or ten minutes and all they could manage was one goal seven. And that's what happens with AFL football quite a bit. He goes straight down the other end through an open forward line. And Basher Hurley, this is a big kick from uh, about 57, 58 metres. And Dustin Martin held out to Boer, carried the line by only about uh, one or two feet. But uh, a great kick by Richmond and uh, all the scores are all tied up. First goal for his new club, Basher Hawley. It's an important one. We're all squared away here, 13 apiece. I reckon you'd go and tell your opponent, Hayden Ballantyne, about it too, because Ballantyne's a, a proven goal kicker. Hasn't got on the board yet, but his opponent has. Settling into life nicely at Punt Road is Basher Hawley. Avalich to five. Seemed a bit stiff to get uh, moved on from Essendon, didn't he? Yep. Sanderlands, they all peel off. He'll just put it to the top of the goal square. Van Burlow, good contest. Still hasn't had a possession, Dustin Martin. He's having a spell forward now after being up on the ball. Has not had a possession. He took a kick out, but it doesn't count as a stat. So I'll pose that question. Do you do something differently with him to get him into the game? Well, the only options you can do is go to another one of the, the Fremantle players and try and uh, tag one of those guys, or do you make him learn and go through it and, and try and work with it? Well, the kick was through the corridor. Richmond had the numbers, but unfortunately, Fremantle got possession. Yeah. Hill ends up with it. Here's where you get punished. Again, it was the right option. It was the poor execution that caused the turnover. It was an exciting kick to an area where they could have really had a great attack from if you hit the target. Missed, you turn it over, and you're always going to get punished. Now, uh, Good chance for Hill to get involved in the game too. He's had three possessions, but no real impact at this stage. Chance to get on the scoreboard. Celebrated his 21st birthday during the bye. Fourth in last year's best and fairest in only his second year. Gets good momentum, gets good purchase, and pulls it to the right-hand side. Cool. Good carry on the kick. Look at the scoreboard. 1-8. Mm. Sorry, did a bit of that in last night's game as well between the two teams at Amy Stadium. It nearly cost uh, Sydney a win today. Yep. Do they do enough at training? I they do, so. they do, but I don't, you just can't simulate the match pressure. That's the problem. Cochin just wanted it more, willed himself to get it forward. Nahas didn't have possession. Foley, hands and knees. This is better. Miller right. needs to be clean and does. Goes to Vickery. Can get to 48 against the flow of traffic. Tyrone Vickery! Boy, that would have been handy. Yeah, probably just the wrong player to be on the end of the <laughs> chain of hand passes. He couldn't sprint clear and give himself time and space. They had the numbers running forward, the Tigers, but they're creating opportunities. So McFarlane. Long ball to the big man, Mountain. Couldn't take it. Pitt hurried out of it. Foley starting to get some telling possessions. Good vision. Just need a good bounce, and they get Vickery. it. Vickery Newman straight. doesn't have a shot at goal. Intelligent play. Well, that is smart play because there's no doubt Chris Newman could have made the distance. He is one of the best kicks going around. A beautiful long left foot. And most times in, in that situation, he would just unload. But why not give it to a bloke that's in the corridor? You just saw him on the right of screen put his arms up. Vickery knew he was clear. He gets a set shot. 35 out almost directly in front should be a certain goal needs to kick it two goals against brisbane from his 10 possessions <laughs> last week kiss him there has to kick it looking to win their first quarter of the season vickery head over the ball that's how it's done easy as that they're doing well it's uh, we said earlier they had seven to two inside 50s early then it was all Fremantle. it's now 11 inside 50s apiece Three goals to one in Richmond's favour. Now, that's a little bit deceptive because the Dockers probably should have kicked four or five goals from the opportunities they've had. But what this does do is give great confidence to the Tigers in that they're in the contest. Uh, Mark Rusciuto said they needed a good start. They've got a decent start. They've got to capitalise on it. First goal for the afternoon. He turns 21 at the end of the month. And an important component of the ruck combination with Angus Graham. As quickly, have you seen the Vickery Graham combination with Sandilands? Oh, look, you, you, you know that Sandilands is going to have a serious impact. It's a matter of how much you can just minimise it, I guess. On cue, he wobbles it inside 50. Kepler Bradley and Clancy Pierce collided. Pierce had a good piece of it. And 
Newman can do it at both ends of the ground. What a player he's been for this young Richmond outfit. Sandlands had nine hit outs to Graham's three at this stage. And 53, a career high two weeks ago against the Bulldogs. I think we'd be saying it'd be a lot more uh, effective if they hadn't kicked one eight. Maybe if they were eight one, we'd be saying for Sandlands would be dominant. Duffield, he plays on from the mark. McPhee the fly, back of the pack, kick off the ground. Van Burlo missed. Away they go for the moment. Grant Pierce gets involved. First game for Fremantle this year. Spent previous five weeks with Swan Districts. On the rookie list, Clancy Pierce. He's back on the ball, Dustin Martin, and just got the ball there, but still hasn't had a possession. Pavlik, Pavlich, I should say. Eventually, Bradley, Pavlich again. Need to minimise the skipper, Mundy, all class. Came out of traffic, high ball, Bradley all on his own. He worked hard, he was, he was involved in the stoppage. The up and under went to space, he was the one that worked hardest to get there. In the end it was virtually an uncontested chess mark, but this guy has worked and worked and worked to make himself an integral part of this lineup. He just works hard, he runs hard. He's also, despite an ungainly kicking action, their go-to goal kicker, he's kicked 11-3 for the year. He's the one that hopefully will break the hoodoo where they've kicked 1-8 already. We just chalk it down then, do we? <laughs> Steady boys, put the gun back in the holster for a moment. Let's see how we go. Kepler Bradley, Fremantle's new Lee Brown. Put it down. Easy as that 12 3 for the year. Probably deserve to kick a goal and get back uh, level pegging with Richmond. They have been the dominant side for most of this first quarter. The ball's been in their Ford 50 for most of the game so far, but you said it right, Kepler Bradley was involved in the stoppage. He was the only real guy that went for the ball. He's a, he's a big fella, and have a look at him. He didn't have a look at whoever was coming. He just attacked the ball, took it on his chest, really. It was uh, ended up a pretty easy mark, but uh, more importantly, went back and kicked the goal. Well, fantastic goal by Kepler Bradley, 12-3. That's outstanding conversion for the season. I'll tell you what I love about Richmond thus far, Root. Uh, Martin has not had a possession. Jack Revolt's had one hand pass. Trent Cotchin's had only the four possessions, and yet they're square. And Delidio's only had three. So their stars aren't touching it, but they're square. That is a great start for them. Santa Lance, again, Mundy involved. Martin didn't have possession. Made for a free. Pushing forward, Miller. Wanted the free kick. Nahas could tackle on Ibbotson. Edwards. To Martin, oh. just a little bit out of sorts at the moment, <laughs> Dustin Martin. He's had a great start to the year. And Pavlich will put a bouncing ball into the path of the hard-working Kepler Bradley. And it's a great it's a great story for kids out there who may not necessarily be the best player, Rube, but hard work gets rewards. Oh, he's just battled on for years and years. And uh, that's right, if you miss the under-18s or you don't get selected in the draft, you just got to keep fighting. There's more mature-age players getting picked up now than ever before. So uh, keep the head down and uh, have a crack. The ball got the extracting handball from Hill. Bradley involved again. Couldn't take the clean ball. Mundy, normally so clean, did well on the second attempt. Handball frees up to ball oh, to Bradley. Wants to get in on the action again. Ballantyne fumbled at top of the square. Oh. And that would have hurt. But uh, Richmond, you've got to give them this one. Haven't won a first quarter so far in 2011. But they finished equal with Fremantle. Quarter time, 3 2, 20 apiece. From the MCG, overcast conditions. Round seven continues. A game here at quarter time. Crowd is slowly building. Getting darker by the minute here at the MCG. Second quarter underway. Sanderlands starting to influence the contest into the path of Pavlich, but well done by Cochin. Kick was smothered. Now Fremantle can link up. Ibbotson can have a casual stroll down the outer wing. Bradley's the target, flying high. Nice mark by McGuan. And they spread reasonably well, Richmond. Foley with McGuan eventually goes yes. to Martin. Just wanted that ball. And Sandlands, a lunging hand on it, did well. Got it to Hill. And I'll reload again from half forward. Fremantle. Hill involved again. Slick handball from De Boer. Can have a running <laughs> shot on goal if you don't mind. <laughs> Well, 
Dustin Martin got his first possession, but it was a turnover. He kicked, tried to kick it over the top of the Sandlands. That's pretty impossible to do. He stuck his big mid up, took it, dished it off, and a couple of exchange of handballs down near the boundary line. And uh, Stephen Hill, he gave it off. He got it back. And uh, he's a beautiful left foot kick. I thought he was going to do the check side. He sort of didn't. It just didn't really spin back a lot, but it went straight through anyway. And uh, he's a great player and uh, well done to Frio. One of the goals of the year right there, Stephen Hill. What a goal. Well, it's great for him. Gets him up and going too. He's now up to eight possessions with a goal to his name. Chris Newman standing him on a wing. So the Tigers trying to get more attacking footy out of Chris Newman as well, who normally sits across half back. Stephen Hill, season high, 28 disposals against the Crows in round three. Career high, 32 against the Brisbane Lions, round seven of 2010. Rewalked. Well, that's the best thing that could have happened for Richmond. It was a terrible kick off the boot for Cochin. <laughs> it was a little bit of a, a mongrel punt, but like a good forward, Jack Revolt's in front. He's on the move. He knows the kick's coming, so he takes the front space. Now, it's OK if the kick goes over your head. That, that's not a problem. But when that kick drops short as a forward, that's your bread and butter. They're the easy ones you roll onto. Now he gets a chance to kick a goal and get himself into the game. 21 goals, six for the year. He's kicked bags of five in the last two weeks. He's got a simple action. Gets underneath the ball. It's got the carry. And Jack Rewalt gets the quick reply. Lot to like about the way Jack Rewalt kicks the goal. A very simple technique. He keeps everything in line. He kicks through the footy. But have a look at the work, the clearance work from Trent Cochin. Good pressure from Aaron Sandlins, who nearly ran him down. A little bit of a tumble punt. Luke McFarlane right on his hammer. But good forwards play in front because that's the benefit that you get from being in the right positions. And the finish. Exquisite from uh, right on the 50 metre arc, a big bomb. When you break it down in isolation, Richmond of old could have allowed two consecutive goals, yep. possibly three, but your point to quickly reply tells you again that this is a building group. Yep, and they've got, look, they're creating opportunities, they've got a chance today, they've got themselves in the game as the umpire sits on his butt. It's back up, and so is Sanderlands who went to ground. Mundy worked hard for the free kick. Top line player now, David Mundy. Well, Ballantyne just went down behind yeah. Plato. I think he took a dive. Used his get out of jail card. Davidson. And eventually, can steady and go short to ball, to ball. A lot of players inside the forward 50 now. So the kick is a three quarter. Up towards McPhee. Oh. As his arms chop, not according to the umpire. Richmond defenders having to defend stoutly now. Yeah, I think Dogger supporters would say his arms were chopped, but I think Daniel Jackson was making a legitimate attempt to actually mark the footy. And he just didn't quite get there at the same time that McPhee did. If you're a defender, you're rather nervous about Aaron Sanderland's height advantage. Rance, ball bobbles out. McGuan goes to ground. Foley did well. Cotchen assessed the option and picked the right one. Had a good game so far, Nahas. Good. He's a bit undecided, Robin. Good kick. And Drew Edwards to him. Clean mark. Hits the gas. Has a bounce. Wants an option inboard. Gee, he had a good lead. Forced to give a second bounce. Foley the link. Nahas okay. again. Finish it off, Robin. Close to 40. Measure the kick. Get his shit. of the year because he started that at half back group. Yeah, look their uh, efficiency. It was very, very smart. They didn't panic when they had hold of the ball. Naha started it. Good grab by Edwards. This is the key play. This is the one that made it. He went inside and that's what the coaches want to see. Go inside, hit the target. Keeping the ball on the body is the best thing you can do when you're trying to run with the ball. Not a great kick at the end, Naha, but he was the one that followed up right from the start. Good work ethic and good finish. Second goal, and we had a great one from Stephen Hill to open up this second quarter, but that was equally as good. Your point, Mark Rochetto, about Shane Edwards' decision to run with the ball may not have been the best option, but it allowed Foley to come up and link up with him, which eventually got it to Nahas. He thought about what he was going to do with it. He just didn't rush it. Been a little bit of a change-up in the midfield matchups. Jackson's gone to Monday. Cochin and Pavlich going at it now. Edwards had it, lost it, opened up the door. Now it's Monday. Quick hands, got it to five. 
He can release it to Pavlich. Oh. It's already got a behind. Can he be perfect, Pav, now? It's as easy as that for the skipper. Goal for goal at the MCG. It's an exciting match at the moment. Fast, free-flowing. Uh, the reason he kicks the goal on the run as opposed to in front of the big sticks from a set shot who explain it oh, look when you're on the move at that sort of pace you probably do most people probably kick better but uh, he's a beautiful kick of the ball he's been a great kick of the ball for his whole career he's just having the yips this year but uh, look six inside 50s for both sides at the moment for four straight goals so uh, a very very exciting start to the second quarter trading punches at the mcg two goals apiece are you thinking less when you're on the run well, it, my point is it's it's instinctive. Whatever comes to mind, you actually do without having time to think about it. Whereas in front of the sticks, you're, you're standing there, you're preparing for the kick, you're looking at the post, you think about missing all the negative thoughts coming to your head. Sandlands to do the roving work. Foley again, ground level. This game continues on at this pace. Who does it suit more? Look, that's a difficult one. Probably the. They do have a young list for you, but they're a mature list in that they've played more games, I think, than a lot of uh, the Richmond players. But I, I don't think there's too much between them no. from a fitness perspective. In the path of Ballantyne, yeah. who's away. He's starting to have a telling influence, Aaron Sandlin's, around the contest uh, at, at clearances. It's not, not just the hit-outs, it's his second and third efforts and his ability to rack up possessions. 13 hit-outs to four at the moment for Sandlin's against Graham. Clancy Pierce works hard, the kick sits up on his head, Grimes, great sport, good closing speed. Johnson, nice handball to Duffield, fires one out to Pierce, kick was smothered well by Conker, great desperation, good game of football at the MCG. And boys earlier, I'm going to talk about matchups and Dustin Martin just struggling to get into the game, but. Uh, He's been closely checked by Matthew DeBoer. He's at eight possessions, so Freeman are quite conscious of getting the ball to him if he's loose. Yeah, it's a good call. DeBoer's done a super job, but his teammates are helping him as well. Martin involved in this passage of play. McGuan wants something. A little bit of yeah. confusion. Puts Greg under pressure. Good chasing tackle by Ballantyne. McGuan paddled it. Pavlich around the ball. Dangerous ball towards McPhee. Good mark by Pierce. Well, it's a poor decision maker from Luke McGuan. He holds his hands out and says, what can I do? <laughs> well, he, yeah. had, he had plenty of options. He did. Uh, honestly, he, he could have used it early on and hit a target. He could have drawn and given, but in the end, he didn't draw a player in. He didn't create a free over the top. He just handballed it to a bloke under pressure when he... Worst, he should have kicked long out, yeah. of, the, out of the defensive 50. Don't know his game well enough to know if he's a uh, serial uh, uh, decision, bad dis decision maker, but he had uh, plenty of options to kick it long out in front of his team. Right there. Clancy Pierce for his first game for the Dockers this year, directly in front. And he miss misses another costly miss, relatively easy shot. And what they're doing is keeping Richmond in the game. And the Tigers will grow in confidence. They'll start to believe they can win if, if Frio don't put them away with all these opportunities. All the Richmond players inside the defensive half. Freeman will have two players in their defensive half, McFarlane and Ibbotson. They should switch it now. They've got plenty of opportunities to switch, but sometimes they just don't have the confidence to be attacking and take risks. Poor kick, really, from Alex Rance, Mark taken by Lower. Or did he fumble it over the line? Took yeah. the second grab outside the boundary line. Good call. Two goals apiece in this second quarter. One point ball game to Fremantle after it was locked away. 3 2 to 2 8 at quarter time. There's another one. They just, it, it's struggling to deal with the size of Aaron Sandlins. Yeah. Third man up, I'll get your thoughts on that yeah. soon. Jason, high ball main in front, good spoil. McPhee will track it. It's, it's a good option if the Ruckman can engage Aaron Sandlins. And look, probably the perfect person to do that at the moment is Dustin Martin, who's not yeah. actually getting the footy. The question is, can he jump high enough to get over the top <laughs> of an Aaron Sandlins who's just standing there reaching up high? You need to be six foot six to go <laughs> third man up. And uh, poor old Tyrone Vickery giving away a lot of height and weight. Nahas. Just love his energy, Robin. It's a kick that's very wide. 
But what Tyro and Vickery and Angus Graham have to do is, because they're double-teaming him, effectively. Kepler Bradley will give him a little spell, but they get a crack at him. They've got to work hard away from the stoppage. They've got to try and work Sandlin's over in terms of covering the ground. But he's the one that's actually racking up the possessions around the ground and not Graham and Vickery. Do you run them both on Aaron Sandilands for a few minutes? Oh, look I, I, look, I don't think they've got the stamina to actually do that. They need to have a spell, but when they're actually on him, they've got to work harder. I spoke to Chris Tarrin earlier today, and he said that Aaron Sandilands is a rope lead as good as the midfielders yeah. at three man on. Correct. That's why you've got to have two blokes. Have a spell, come on, work hard, then go have a spell and get ready for your next crack. Miller did well, forced a contest. Deliberate. No. It's gone out the crowd ground. wanted it. And just add to that, boys, uh, Mark Harvey, about a month ago, just uh, complained to the umpires board about Aaron Sandling's treatment. They were just mauling him a bit too much. So he's already had a couple of free kicks, so just keep an eye on that. He's gone forward for a spell now. Ranch has got him, and he's giving away about a foot in behind him. Well, Rewalt didn't have another option there. He's good forward too, Sandalan, so uh, don't be surprised if he gets a uh, goal or two here. And what else they do is they pull everyone else up the ground. So they're looking for that one-on-one -on -one context. Can this man start to insert himself? Okay. Quite first quarter, good kick to Edwards. Don't Look around, right. Shane, you've got a loose player, good Edwards. Kick. Made it. Well, even though he's under pressure, Dustin Martin, he still had the... Uh, the footy brain to uh, play on there because if he didn't play on, he, uh, this whole passage of play wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have happened. So well done there to uh, Miller. The other thing we should say about Dustin Martin too is we're not being critical. I mean, he's a young man that's only played 27 games. Yeah. You're going to have a bad day now, and then it's just that we've never seen him have a bad day like this. No, but he's still trying to work his way into it. 90% of uh, midfielders can't ever get used to a tag. <laughs> played his first game against the Dockers, round eight of 2002 for Melbourne. Brad Miller. Second home now at Punt Road, thrown a lifeline by Richmond, rookie listed player, and he pushes it wide. That would have been handy. And it's something that he hasn't uh, made the most of either. I've seen him miss a few set shots for the Tigers. You come in, he plays a role, and he's taking a bit of pressure off Jack Revolt. He gives him a little bit more size up forward, but he's got to make the most of those shots for goal. He's involved again, he did well. Just on Dustin Martin. Second year player, yep. and they're not having a good start to the game, can go into their shell. But that little passage of play there says a bit about his mental strength. It is. Look, he, I don't think he knows how not to try. He's just <laughs> at it all the time. It's just that he's, uh, at, to this point in the in the game, he's getting beaten. That may change. Edwards got it from Cotchin. Kick in hope towards Rewald. He was manhandled. He looked it. Conker, Robin Nahas, ridden into the ground by Lower. Pavlich in support. Skipper came away. Hurried kick. Foot race, Hooley and Palmer. Palmer goes to ground and did it well. Okay, now they got up, dispossessed, crowd wants ball. Hooley did it in the first, can he do it in the second? Locks for goals, Hill to get back, oh, lunging well right. Down. Hill. Gee, that was a good kick from Hill. He, uh, he's got the taste for it now after bombing one early. <laughs> that looked a goal in the making, but desperate work from Stephen Hill to get back and touch it before he crossed the goal line. Great game of football this it afternoon. Is. Lights are on, overcast conditions, Fremantle, top four aspirations, Richmond building. The ball up. Fremantle hit the bye, Jason, three consecutive wins, and of the ten teams that have played after the bye, only set, uh, three have won. Yep. And you'd think it would be perfect for teams to have a spell freshen up and then come out again, but... Sometimes, I think particularly when you're winning, you like to keep the momentum up and play every week. Yeah, well, maybe earlier in the year they don't need the spell as much. You certainly need the uh, spell from around, probably around 8, 9, 10, 11, around there. Vickery, a much better matchup on Bradley. Sanderlands can get it again. Just came off the bench, Sanderlands. Yep, and he'll give it to Hill. What a goal in that early stages of this second quarter. He's unlucky, Johnson. He actually oh. held front spot. He did it well, but when he pushed back on his opponent, he caught Grimes high, and that's why the free kick was made. It's a, it's a correct decision, but he was unlucky, Johnson, because he was watching the footy hold in front position. Greg, the former blue. Oh. Some confusion. They make it harder than perhaps it should have been. Rance tumbles it outside their oh, defensive well 50. It's a very important mark to Bachelor. And a good kick. And good work by Conker. Paddles it to himself and controlled it well. Measures the left foot kick. Nice build up from the Tigers. Miller again. Richmond players on the near side, but it's too far away. Rewalt, the big leap. Back of the pack. Push up King. Jakey. Drilling ball. Top of the square. Off the chest of Graham. 
And they might be touched on the way through to yeah. Graham, and that put him off. But look, terrific vision from Bachelor off half back, and then uh, Conkle followed it up with a good kick to the lead. They're playing okay, Richmond. They're right in this contest. Nah has had 14 uh, possessions. He's the highest possession winner on the ground. Edwards has had 10. And for Frio, Pavlich 13. Mundy and Hill 11. Sandilands 10. Nah has got two goals to go with his 14 possessions as well. And that's good work by Edwards. Nahas again. Robin, what a year he's having around the corner. Fortuitously for White. Can he capitalise? Not on this occasion. Oh, we saw two blokes there that can't kick on the left foot. <laughs> <laughs> Nahas's left foot's obviously just for balance because we saw him kick a banana in the first quarter. Look, he's playing a sensational game, but he'd rather kick a banana than on the left foot. And then Matt White had an opportunity on the left and didn't strike it right. Can't recall you going on the left too often, Jase. Didn't think no, so. No, I did. Didn't have to, did you? <laughs> It's a fair point. Fremantle now under pressure. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a great left foot spotter. <laughs> it's good work defensively by Trent Cochin. Gee, they're, they're hot on this too. The high fend off. They are absolutely red hot on it, the umpires. It's the first thing they look for. Any high contact, it doesn't matter whether you've got the ball or haven't got the ball. You just saw it there. And and look, Cochin's contributed stiff, because there, he's gone low. Cochin's he? gone low and dropped the head. So what are you supposed to do with your arm? You uh, can't make uh, it disappear. I don't think that was a free kick. To extend it out to an eight-point lead. He made the umpire work hard, but he's kicked the goal. And this is where those misses from Freo haunt you, Rue, because all of a sudden you can feel it. The Tigers players are starting to think we can win this now. They're genuinely believing it. Sure are, and uh, the inside 50s free are leading 22-18. That shows how much of the ball they've had inside their 50. 13 scoring shots to 11, yet they're trailing by eight points. So uh, bad kicking's bad footy. We see grand finals get decided by it, and uh, this could cost Frio the game. Tigers by eight. Cochin with his first. He had three behinds last week in a top-shelf performance against Brisbane, finished with 25 possessions, and has had no fewer than 20 touches this year with a high of 30 against the Magpies round four. Yeah, we spoke about Nahas before with uh, 15 possessions and two goals. Ibbotson's been relieved of that duty, and Duffield's gone on to Nahas. Sandilands again paddled it. Clearance will go to five. Squirts the kick to Ballantyne. Marked closely by Hooley. Oh, Good well, contest. Yeah. Just wanted that ball more, Hayden Ballantyne. Cap it off, young man, and cap it off he does. <laughs> he might get under the noses of a lot of players in the competition, but he is a star small forward. And what really impressed me about him, Rue, is he can run quickly and keep his balance even when there's a contest. Look at the way he keeps his balance and keeps going. When others go to ground, he doesn't. And that's the difference. I mean, he made the lead up. It was a bad kick. He had to turn around and go back into it and get the ball, win the contested football, and then finish off like a good forward. Well done, Hayden Ballantyne. Well, those people that have decided to come to the MCG have seen three great goals. First, Stephen Hill. That was followed up by Basher Hawley. Yep. Hayden Ballantyne take a bow. And the Robert Nahas one as well. Of course. Yeah. It is, uh, it's an exciting contest. We're seeing some terrific goals. Players just take the bit between the teeth and all out attack. A team on the improve and a team wanting to be a top team. And we've got a great game. Sanderlands again. Foley works hard against the Fremantle captain. Pavlich stood in the tackle. Not sure he got it away legally. He did. But Mundy put it onto the boot. Grimes will track it back. What's the call? Under pressure, it's OK. He might have got away with one, Matty Pavlich dived on the footy, dragged it in, then when he stood up, he didn't dispose of it correctly. In this quarter, Sandlins has had six possessions, Monday six for the Dockers, so they're getting plenty of it. Oh, easy as that, Kepler, Bradley, Aaron, Sandilands, you're a star. Well, he's the one that can't stop Aaron Sandlins, Rue. Right? Yeah, well, he's just a dominant ruckman in the league, isn't he? He's, uh, have a look here, just a double-fisted pump. Probably a little bit lucky for uh, Bradley, but he did take it clean and kick the goal. Who was with him? Who Rance. was with him? Rance yeah, he was got... not goal side of his opponent. Exactly. And as a defender, you have to be. Uh, just uh, proving to be a pretty hard matchup, isn't he, Bradley? I think they need to swab him. He's been, uh, he's been a great player this year. I'm going to declare my hand here. Please. I never thought Kepler Bradley could be as good as what he is now. He's I, I turned into a great yeah, player for Fremantle. Yeah, most improved. 
And uh, all hats off him, all hats to him, of course. Two goals this afternoon. He's become a versatile player. And these two teams are just slugging it out. Great game of football. Palmer, Pavlich, the big three for Fremantle, which were highlighted by Mark Rusciuto having a big influence today. Pavlich, Sanderlands and Mundy. Cochin, terrific young player. Numbers favouring Fremantle. Vickery just had to make a better contest. Yeah, he needed to, but it was good work by Ibbotson. It just worked him off the ball, but Tigers were oh. desperate for a contest. Oh, nicely read by White. Went the bump. Perhaps the tackle was a better option. No, perhaps. OK. I just thought I'd try and help him out. No, he should have gone the tackle. That's a good decision, too, because Newman was about to pop in and mark it, had his arm pulled, and now the good switch. Conkar. Great and number seven, good run from the young man from WA. Even better running from Hawley. Conquer ignores that and spots up Jackson. Robin Nahas, no left foot, doesn't need it when you can go oh, bang and push that wide. Well, I reckon the pass would have hit him right on the logo, except that Daniel Jackson tried yeah, yeah, to yeah. thought the kick was meant for him and it actually wasn't. He got a fingertip to it, but he recovered and still had the opportunity. Nahas just couldn't finish. It's exciting to watch Robin Nahas. Something looks as though it's going to happen all the time. He gets involved again. Fingernailed and Newman just willed himself forward. Rewald, he'll fly. Got up way too early. Vickery, White get in the way of each other. White again. Keep it alive. Jakey King. Nahas is partnering. Trying. The hole. King's got his first. Looking forward to seeing how that hand pass came out to Jay King. And if, in fact, it was a hand pass. But... That's what Jay King's got to do as well. He's not getting a lot of the footy, but when you do get it, you need to hurt them on the scoreboard. Matty White gets down. Oh, there's no hand pass there. It's just fumbled out, but he did well to get the clearance. He, he removed the ball out of the contest. That's just hard work. It's, you could argue it was a throw, but hey, make the most of it. An opportunity to Jay King, and he took it. Seventh lead change of the match. We're running into the second quarter. Dustin Martin boys has just come on from the bench. He's gone straight in the full forward line, and uh, Matty DeBoer has just gone straight on him again. Tigers got their forward line structure in a straight line from the top of the square to centre half forward. Well, that's got to be the fourth free kick for manhandling Aaron Sandlands against the Richmond Ruckman, and they've got to stop doing that. Oh, there's a drift. <laughs> <It's from there. laughs> Scrubs it to Mundy, bouncing ball, Foley and Hill both sort of waited for one another. Mm, not too high. He's a beauty, Reese Conklin. And he played seven games of, six and a half games of AFL football. Looks right at home. Long way from home, Jack. Yeah, he's come searching for the footy. Just wants to get a couple of touches, get the ball in his hands a little bit. So they need to be patient now, Richmond. Yeah, and there's nothing on for the switch, so he'll have to hold it up. He might even have to come back. Oh, sometimes certain defenders get the ball and they make you a touch nervous. Rance at the moment was OK. Bouncing ball for White. Good work by Van Burlo. Yeah, he did well. He used the body well, Van Burlo, because Matty White's got pace. He wanted he wanted the ball out in front with uh, clean grass, but uh, Van Burlo just got his body in the way. Got a hot head too, hasn't he? Good effort by Grimes. A bit fiery. Yeah, absolutely. Which can work for you, but you've got to be able to control. Always looks relaxed and calm, doesn't he? Damien Hardwick. Wait until the camera's off him, Chief. <laughs> How do you know? Well, I'm just guessing. Throw in, out of wing, Cotchen. Important possession. Miller just worked oh, hard. Good front. Crap. That's exactly why he's in this team. Oh, and that's not. That's, that's how he lets himself down. All the hard work, and it opens up the door. Grimes will spoil on Sanderlands intelligently. <laughs> the basketball tap. Terrific game of football. Rebound. Now Foley, Jake King, the little man, got up high, beaten by the taller man in Broughton, both went to ground, right to capitalise, tight angle, to Vickery, gets the lead, stretch, mark. Nice kick from Matty White, you've got a Ruckman slash forward in the goal square, kick it high up in the air for him, he, had a, he didn't even have to run a jump, but it was perfectly positioned for him, no one was going to get as high as Vickery on that occasion. Oh, they are building here at Richmond, long way to go, but some really good signs, Vickery, Kicks another Richmond goal. I thought initially Foley had made a mess of it by missing Matt White, who was yeah. actually loose on the That's flank, right. pushing forward. He kicked to Jake King in a contest, but the ball comes down there. And, uh, 
it up. Or? Yeah, he, he followed it in, and then he wasn't having a shot for goals. He was yeah. looking for Tyrone Vigory. Always too tall for Gary Gibbertson. Great vision there. Just get it up where he wants it. Get it up in the air for the big bloke. Back out to a game high eight point lead. Richmond coming off the two game winning streak, including last week's 26 point win against the Brisbane Lions. Fremantle had the bye last week. Before that, three consecutive wins. So perhaps the curse of the bye once again might claim a scalp. Long way to go. But Richmond taking on Fremantle. Pavlich tries to take them all on. Cochin, another important clearance. Floats the handball into the path of Edwards, waited and got support. Jackson, King, nice little momentum shift. Takes it himself, Jake, Good arc and run. High ball, top of the square, Vigory well the run. Good work by Sanderlands, ground ball. Slick hand, rewind, got it to Jake. The step in, the kick around. Oh, can you believe it? Jake's got two. <laughs> Footy by Coach and got the ball out of the middle. He's had a couple of centre clearances this quarter. And uh, Jakey King, he's had a booming five minutes. Well, he just started by he kicking did. long in and then just followed it in. What about his work ethic? He's run down. He's got well done by Vickery to provide a contest in the air against Sandlands. And uh, Jakey King on that left boot. He snapped it around for two snags. And Richmond uh, kicking away. 14 points in front here, deep into the second quarter. King's got two, the Tigers are bold. They've got it out to a game high, 14 point lead. They've kicked the last three goals of the game, Jace. Yeah, and they've got momentum, they've got belief there. And all of a sudden, listen to the crowd. The crowd's right up and in the contest now. And those small fours, look, they don't get plenty of the ball, do they? But they've got to make the most of their opportunities, and he's done exactly that. If you're not a Richmond member, get on board. Your team's going places. Sanderlands gets the handball. He'll pump it long. Fremantle need a goal now. Great spoil to Lidio, the gather. The give was good. Oops. Too much on the handball for Rance. Bradley fires it back to Van Burlo. Lays it off Hill. One of the left boot. That was shut down. Ballantyne. He knows where the big sticks are. He puts it on his boot. And I think he might have worked it back. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Talk about small forwards making the most of the opportunities. Ballantyne. He's another one. He's... Uh, What's he had? Two kicks this quarter, and he's got two snags. So uh, he's definitely uh, uh, making the most of limited opportunities, the young fella. He is a great player to watch. He was a mature age pickup as well, guys. We spoke about that earlier, about uh, not giving up if you don't, uh, if, the, if everything doesn't go right earlier on in your career. Well done, Hayden Ballantyne. Now, without wanting to sound too critical on Brad Miller, that's the difference between Brad Miller and someone like a Hayden Ballantyne. Min minimal possessions, but he makes them count. He does. Look, they're obviously different types of players, but the philosophy of what you're saying is exactly correct. And again, Sandlins dominates. A little bit too easily. Oh, McFee. He didn't get away with that one. He got away with a good push on Deledio earlier in the match. Oh, I don't think you can argue about that. Can you argue about the 50? Oh, no. Forgive sure. him a mouthful. Well, really? it's just undisciplined, boys. He knew that he'd give him a free kick away and give the umpire a serve. They're just not on in today's football. You don't do it to Ray. Not little Ray's a Ray. He frog marched him 50 down the pier and Martin through traffic to King. He can go the journey. He can go the journey. I like what uh, Deledio did. He waited for Dustin Martin and hand passed to him. Actually put him in a bit of traffic, but they're trying to get the ball into the hands of Dustin Martin to get him up. And he hits a nice little pass to Jakey King, who's kicked two, could go three for the quarter. Oh. We've seen him bomb away from 50 before. He'll give this a ride. No, he'll, he'll make the distance. He will bring the house down here at the MCG. They'll go bananas here, the Tiger, the Tiger <laughs> faithful. A lot of ink work on that left sleeve. He might go for the right sleeve if he nails this goal. It is on its way. Jakey King. Oh, just bad. A little left to right up. It's a great point you make about Dustin Martin, though, because Ab Ab Ablett and Geelong did it for so long. Yeah, correct. And look, just once you start to get a feel of the footy, your confidence grows. And, and funnily enough, things start to happen for you. So if they can get Dustin Martin into the contest, again, their chances go uh, even further through the roof, the Tigers. Lights of blaze at the MCG. Richmond have been terrific. Well, that's Fremantle's chase. They're down by nine. Rover. The one-year contract at the end of last year. The oldest player on the list. It's long and down the line.
So we saw in the beginning of the show that Damien Hardwick, perhaps last year, they were just happy with a good performance. Now they expect to win. Yeah, they've, they've raised, the, raised the bar in terms of their own expectations. And, and at some stage, you have to do that as a young side. It's not enough just to be competitive. Koch in another possession. He's monstered by the man, Mountain. We also oh. spoke... He was stiff there. And away go Freeman. Havlich through traffic. Oh, That's dropping the ball. We spoke about Cochin in the first term. He only had four possessions. He's had eight in the second term. He's got himself into the game. And there's Martin with another touch. And he's certainly lifting his rating. Can Jack lift his legs? Get them pumping. McFarlane, is that deliberate out of bounds? Yes. Oh, my goodness. He's played the deliberate hand pass out of bounds. But typically from a defender's perspective is, where are you supposed to hit the ball when you're being tackled and you're facing the boundary line? You can't really hit <laughs> the ball over your head. <laughs> Should that be Jack Rewalt's free kick because he was the tackler? You as think opposed so. to Robin Nahas? You think so, unless Nahas was right in front and closest to the ball when it went over the boundary line. Oh, no one's guarding his open space if he plays yeah. on and opens up the angle, Robin. Now he'll go with a direct drop punt. Yeah, kick is on its way. It's across the face. Good luck, Phil. You know what? He just kicked off one step, he leaped back, and that's what happens if you don't concentrate. Now another opportunity for the Tigers. Bachelor, the handball on the left side, right side for a left footer. It's to the near side, though. Gee, if they were able to add another one here before half-time, the Tigers are seriously going to make life hard for the Dockers. Six goals, five for the quarter, Richmond. And Fremantle, on the other hand, have kicked five goals, one. It's been a great quarter of football. And this young Tiger outfit of challenge, Fremantle. It's a very good spot by Batchelor. Looks all right, Batchelor. He does. Look, he, he played the percentages there. As his confidence grows, he'll probably come in and mark that footy the more that he uh, finds himself in that situation. But percentages first, kill the ball. Graham, a small victory. Edwards has been telling. Tomka without it. Sanderlands, great bullocking work from the big man. Foley has a go for the little men. And again, tries to burrow his way through. Good umpiring. Just over two minutes to play in this second quarter. The last year, gentlemen, once again, continues this way. Who does it suit? Each team's had 149 disposals. It's dead even. Spotter. Hard to call. Same scoring shots. Valentine had some time, got it away to Fife. Kick towards his teammate Van Berlo. We talk about Bachelor being a good young prospect, so is young Grimes. Grimes, he is. He is. They've got Conker playing down back as well, so some good youth coming into their uh, defensive mix. Only two in it in the inside 50s, 26 24 to the Dogger, so the stats really starting to even up. Bradley links up, Fife rockets the handball back to Valentine, has some time. No pressure on him. Bradley's free again. And he'll thump it long. Big pack flies. No mark taken. McPhee feeds it over the top. Out the back door. Runs to an unguarded goal and Main kicks it. Too easy. I'm sure when people are watching, they go, how can the bloke be all on his own waiting out the back? Well, what happens is everyone gets drawn into watching the footy. You get drawn into the contest. And Chris Main just decided... There's enough people in the contest. I'll duck out the back. You'll see Main there. And it was uh, McGuan who was actually on him at the time, came in for the spoil. McGuan or Greg, 6 or 16, I'm not quite sure which one it was, Greg. But he just ducked out the back. And unfortunately, you get punished for not killing the ball forward. Used to be called cheating, didn't it? This isn't a great sign for the Dockers because Kepler Bradley's been uh, one of their better players, one of their best players, no doubt. And he has leapt off. We'll get Jack out of find out a little bit about what's happening with Kepler Bradley. Got hit in that contest, guys. That big pack there, he might have got a corky. Four-point deficit now, Fremantle. They've yeah, kicked the last two shooter. goals of the game. And when they look at the review of this tape during the course of the week, Jace, the main goal in the Kepler, Bra Kepler Bradley one at the top of the square earlier in this yeah. quarter has been very costly. They have been. And uh, Kepler Bradley, Bradley has got some concerns on the bench. We'll get an update from Glenn Jack a bit soon. He is... One more would hurt Richmond if Fremantle were able to get it. Just over a minute to play this second quarter. It's been a terrific game of football. Pierce will go long. McPhee will think about the jump. Decided to stay down. Fife can't manage to take it cleanly. Palmer back to Fife. 
Gets it free. Ibbotson. Dying stages. Don't want to mark Richmond. Push out. Free kick will do. Oh, gee, that hurts. That hurts. How often does it happen, though, when you kick high into the forward line? Doesn't have to be a good kick. You don't have to be outnumbered. But the defenders just feel the pressure and they go searching for it and they give a free kick away. I reckon what hurts about this too is they should have killed the ball over the boundary line in the lead up to that passage of play. But they allowed the Dockers to keep it alive. It was Ibbotson that hooked the ball back in high. And just as McPhee was set to fly for the footy, he was worked under it illegally. He gets the set shot now for Kenny Kickstra. Kenny Kickstra. Kenny Kickstra. It's all about momentum in this game and they'd love to go in front. Big kick time. as we approach the 36 minute mark of this second quarter. Trading goals, trading blows, and McPhee kicks the goal. Fremantle back in front. The, the value of that uh, long kick, I mean, that wasn't a pretty kick, that was a snap around the corner, but so often uh, you kick the ball long into that hot spot, and the defenders just feel there's more pressure on than it actually is, and you just put the hand in the back. And uh, the free kick was there. It was only a little bit. It was only a bit soft. But he, didn't, uh, he didn't need to do it because he's got the ruckman in Angus Graham. But that's what happens, isn't it? Well. Costly now. Very costly. Freeman are in front. Richmond led by 20, uh, 14 points, I should say, at the 26-minute mark when Jake King got his second goal. But since then, Valentine, Maynard, McPhee have got the lead back, two-point lead. Let's check in with Glenn Jakovic, boundary side. Jacko. Thanks, thanks, Wado. Uh, Kepler Bradley uh, was just backing back into that pack. Looks like he got a knee in his low buttocks. He's up and about. He's all right. He'll be back in the third quarter. Boys. Another hit out to Sanderlands. Jackson met heavily. Sounds, like, sounds like just a court thing. So Dr. Rashido was right. 22 well, seconds yeah. to go. Got to move it quickly. And they do. Jackson. Chipping ball wide. Greg. Free to Hamble to Newman who takes it upon himself. Good chase by Pierce. Here's a kick. Where's Rewalt? Out of position. Good spoil by Grover. It's still alive. Edwards. Was he ridden in the back? No, not a quarter of the umpire. Now he plays a tackle. Oh, oh. Where's he plucked that from? And that is it for the opening half. What a game of football from the MCG. Richmond and Fremantle are turning it on. Lights are on. Great game of football. Don't go anywhere at the main break. It's Fremantle leading by two points. About to get it underway. Delivery is away. Chamberlain will bang it down. Well, that's interesting, though. Uh, Richmond trying to get Delivery into the game. He's up on a wing already. Sanderlands continues on. First tap down. And we'll have a second rebounds. Can the Tigers win three in a row? Can Fremantle become the fourth team to win after the bye? Seven have lost. It's been a bogey for a lot of teams. A lot of spirit about this Richmond outfit. It releases to Greek, can run to half forward, decided to kick, and that's OK. Yeah, absolutely. I was about to say the same thing, so I saw he could have had a bounce. It's on behind play in the middle of the ground. No surprise to see Daniel Jackson <laughs> involved in that with Duffield. But I thought uh, he could have actually had a bounce, and even run inside 15 had a shot, Greek, but he knew better than us because he went to the go-to guy in Jack Rewald. He's got one Jack Rewald, his best against Fremantle, 5-1 round 15 of last year. This for the perfect start in the second half. Rewald, Richmond as they did in the opening quarter. That's probably exactly what we wanted to see in terms of the contest, Ru. We've seen so many lead changes, uh, particularly just before half-time. Richmond, came, uh, Fremantle came back and got their nose in front after Richmond had come from behind to overhaul them. And now we see the Tigers back in front. And if anything uh, that we've noticed, I guess, in the first half of this match is normally when one team does something, the other team responds. Yeah, Cochin in and under, winning the hard ball once again. He's a good young player. And Jackson coming in to support him there. That's what the scuffle started from. He'd be pretty pleased with Daniel Jackson there, just supporting love his teammate love without it. getting too he, carried away. He's been criticised at times for being over the top with his aggression, but he saw Trent Cochin getting roughed up by uh, Duffield. He said, I wouldn't have thought so, Paul. Have a little bit of your own back. He's missed six games of the Tigers last 19 because of suspension. Cochin again. The one arm fend off like Martin. Ricochets around. Pavlich scrubs it to half forward. Grimes attacks it. And away they go again. Needed to do better there, Pavlich. Newman, drilling ball on the stretch mark. It was good by Jackson. The Lidio runs by. Good play on. That's a bad call by the Alcoa. Didn't actually go over the mark or off the mark, did he? Underneath Mundy's smother towards Vickery. Van Burlo. Now five. Oh. Corridor football. They arrive late. 
think they worried about Kepler Bradley. It's a long day for Kepler. So again, he comes to Hill. Fought to the ball with space. Newman and King in pursuit. Chipping ball. Got the carry. McPhee. Could he take the mark? He did. Poor old Kepler. He is in the water. They should have killed that ball, the Tigers. And, and unfortunately, both Jay King and Angus Graham went to ground in the contest. We've just seen uh, a replay on the big screen here, or the crowd have. That's why they're booing. They don't think that Adam McPhee controlled the footy. And I suspect that he was a little guilty when he held the ball up to the umpire here <laughs> to say, yes, I did, sir, I did mark it. I'm, I'm not convinced he did. And they have benefited from a fortunate decision, but nonetheless, Adam McPhee has the ball. And for the quick reply, they have just traded blows throughout the opening half of football. A chance for Fremantle to get the lead back. It's wide of the mark from an experienced player it's a disappointing finish maybe poetic justice the crowd certainly thinks so another let off for the tigers though foley another, another set shot miss for the doggers what a game he had nathan foley interrupted last couple of years 40 possession career high game against brisbane last week that's oh, i was going to say i thought he was going to ping him for a boundary throw in there because he called play only actually went sideways outside the boundary line newman laterally they open up the outer side. Rance. It's a That's disappointing result. Had two players, two that are off then, the Tigers, and uh, a very disappointing result. Okay, what a free man have got on the outer wing. Richmond with the opening goal of this third quarter. Rewalt with two. Squirting kick towards Ballantyne's. Good work by Hawley. Yep. Now Richmond on the reload. Rewalt has to stop and wait. New pressure was coming from behind. And they've got options here. Jake King's run on if he can move it quick. And Cotchen worked hard right through the too. corridor. A good player will cap it off from 45 metres. It's working back. Richmond have got two. Here come the Tigers room. Do they ever they are? fire at the moment two inside 50s for two goals Cotchen's having a big influence on this game he had a massive second quarter at eight disposals he's getting in and under and winning the ball in the middle but also running forward and kicking goals well done to Jack Rewalt he was the one that uh, kept his head up took the grab or got the free kick but uh, got the ball on quickly and uh, capitalized on the loose man well done Richmond they're uh, off to a nine-point lead don't like this rule though Oh, come off after you kick a goal, please. Have a look at Adam McPhee here. Did he take the mark before? No. Did not control it to the ground. Well, you got it right, Chief. Poetic justice. Cotchen kicks the goal, comes off. Richmond opening two goals in this second half. Can't be that much to talk about on the phone after you've just kicked the ripper, is there? <laughs> Surely, Rose. <really. laughs> <laughs> 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 you well, see that, Coach Pavlich? Nice kick. Beautiful McPhee. Let him down. Fremantle, Bradley, round the corner, bouncing ball, <laughs> Kepler, you're a beauty. That's a freak. <laughs> they have to swap him, for sure. <laughs> He's been battered from pillar to post. He's been poleaxed in a couple of contests. He was caught badly just before halftime. He was smashed in a sandwich just after halftime. And he bobs up yet again after some good clearance work from Matty Pavlich. Three goals now to Kepler Bradley. Should have swallowed that Adam McPhee. And unfortunately, he lets himself down a couple of times with uh, dropping simple marks. But Kepler Bradley just pulls another rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> Great game of football. Trading blows all afternoon. Trial by three points. Sometimes you go to a game of football not sure what to expect. It's a privilege today. No, yeah. we're getting a pearl, aren't we? Yep. Everything that's great about football is on show this afternoon. And Sanderlands again. Another influential possession. Grimes, good spoil. Bouncing ball. Main tracks it. And a good tackle on Main by Bachelor. Great work. And you mentioned before with Kepler Bradley, uh, Jason has been pelted from pillar to post. After he kicked that goal, he usually come to the bench, but he's just too tired. He can't run to the bench. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how you do it. Take the bench to him. Palmer met heavily and hard by Foley up towards Van Burlo. Good catch. Is it off to Pavlich? Circling run. Rance with strength. And the go back and get did well. Delidio 
dangerous ball. The ball up. Look for Maine. He leads the charge in that regard. They shut down Bradley. Good work by the Tiger defenders. Lower went low. Standing in the tackle. Martin takes it upon himself. Needs to get boot to ball. That should be holding the ball. Held it for an eternity. Umpire puts the whistle away and there's a free kick. Sometimes you have to wait to see who's at the bottom of the wicket, which way the free kick's going, don't you? I know it. Tigers, the opening two goals before Bradley got his third. Oh, good kick. Good well, kick. Cooley works towards half-back. Too slow. Been a couple of options, but you're right. A little bit too slow. Grimes. It's pretty easy, I That's think. a really good kick. Courageous decision. Pulled the trigger. Got it to Graham. Delidio. Not a lot of options. Just had to hold onto the ball. He's back in the middle, Graham. They should use him again. They've got two. Further afield. That's oh, White outside. Yeah, the other side is Edwards. A lot of composure from this young, developing Richmond outfit. White bangs it long. Miller oh. did all the hard work and dropped the mark. It spills free. Now little Jakey King. What can he do? Duck around. He's the other half of Robin Nahas. Goes to Hawley. He knows how to kick a long goal. Tried to balk, drop possession. They've gone high. Ties it up. He's wrestles it free. Here. Needs to get rid of it. That should be... He did well. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow managed to get boot on ball. Edwards. Well done. Tigers sniffing a great win here. Could it be three in the row? Gee, the pressure's on. The heat in the game has lifted, hasn't it? Nahas. Once upon a time, they'd be a bit unsure of himself. Richmond, they like the big stage. The big spoil from Sanderlands. Mundy. And they go wide again. Good mark by Palmer. Newman overcommitted. Mark. Good play by Rant. Just held him up enough. Feeds a handball. Mundy He's runs Bradley. again. He's Bradley. All class. Ballantyne on the stretch. Couldn't take it. Attacking it was McGuan. Didn't have possession. Plays allowed to go on oh. to Lidio. Slight hesitation. Went high on lower. He's done it before and he does it again. Just a fantastic game, this thing. Both sides going in hard. No one taking a short step at all. And Freeman, or they had the run of the play, they just didn't quite nail that kick. Should well, McGuire have got a free kick, do you think? Just there, that was borderline. Oh, he didn't have the ball, did he? So it probably was a free kick. Put the body over the ball low. He's a hard nut, don't worry about that. Had a great year last year at uh, Nord back in the SNFL and uh, put his body on the line, kicked a good goal. Fremantle back in front. Hope you're enjoying this great game of football. Now it's Fremantle leading by three points. And you talk about Nick Lower. He's a rookie now, seems to be enjoying his second chance with Fremantle, who threw him a lifeline, averaging 17 possessions with a career high 22 season opening game against Brisbane. The last two goals of the match. Now it's Richmond's chance. Sanderlands again. High ball. Good work by Pierce. No mark. Wheels around. Tries to spot up McPhee. Well done by White. Great composure and gather. Darts the ball to Vickery. Here go Richmond. Pies communicating. Martin did well. Fun with the handball to Cochin, just drew the opponent. Good linking play, Bachelor. Young Tiger impressing Miller on the stretch. Well done. Yeah, now he gets another opportunity. He had one of these earlier in the game, and he just doesn't look comfortable with his set shot. There's a little bit on behind play again. Cochin again, copping a bit of attention. All right, talk us through this shot on goal, Jason. Well, what we want to see him to do to start with is to keep a straight line at the target and then to kick through the ball. He tends at little times just to wander off to the right. He doesn't always kick through the footy, so we'll keep an eye on him. Got to, got to tell himself he's going to kick it, though, yeah. doesn't he? As you said, most of it's in the head. Line. To wrestle the lead back once again. So there's a great shot. Straight behind him. He's, he, right now he's walking straight at the target. Does he, does he hold the line? He does it pretty well. Great camera angle. Excellent kick. Beautiful execution. You'd like to think the players would work it out. When you watch the film, you say, well, what did I do there that I didn't do last time? He kept everything in a straight line. He kicked through the footy. Lo and behold, he kicks a goal. They just need some headphones, Chief. You just keep <laughs> talking to him. You, you just got him in the straight line there. You told him he'd kick it. He said, well done. You're doing the right thing. And it went straight through the middle. It's not that hard, Chief. It's a good little mark. Good little mark. Jack, Jack Revolt, what does he do here? Ah, beautiful. 
So uh, Jack Rew up there, just giving a bit of leadership there to Brad Miller. Yeah. Don't know if he was listening or not, but he was certainly <laughs> talking to him and uh, said, just go back, keep your body in line and kick straight through it. Wonderful game of football. Hope you're enjoying it. Get on board, Richmond supporters. Your team are going places. Now, it was only recently that Will Minson had a record number of hitouts. I reckon that record could be in jeopardy today. Could be. Lower. He's got a goal in this third term. Fremantle in search of a rare win at the MCG. Mundy, good gather. The get, the kick is on its way. David, Mundy, you're all class. Well done, Luke McGuan. Seen a few of those today, we both have, sides. I have. Just staring touches now. You're telling me that 32 is the record number of hitouts, right? No, 32 he's got now. Oh, 32 he's got. What was the 53. record? 53. 53, thank you. Okay, so he's got 32 now. Just 53. I don't reckon you had 53 in your life. No, never. I don't reckon I had one at all. <laughs> he, he may get it today. We'll go long. Rewalt again has been going early pretty much all afternoon. And it's gathered by five. Centering ball. Palmer in front. Great oh, touch. Right. Outstanding, Matthew White. Outstanding. And good vision too. Just come off the bench, Angus Graham. And he doesn't have a lot forward of the ball. He's got some numbers to oh, chip over to. Look at this. They are working, Richmond. They are sensing something. They will not go away. Hurley, the former bomber. Watch for Jakey King to launch. What are you doing, Jake? Uh, well done, Aaron Sanders. I'm sure Jake knew what he was doing. It's against Jake for an unrealistic attempt, they said. <laughs> <laughs> but Sandlin's just reading the play well. He ended up losing the mark because it was a free kick to a teammate, but he puts himself in the right positions. Jaden Pitt. We'll go towards Sanderlands. Carried Graham, Conco, the fumble. Support from Deledio. Chipping ball, nice. King again. Persistent, this young Tiger outfit. Yep, kick the goal. And he saw how Brad Miller did it. Just break the headphones on uh, Jack King and let the Chief go to work again. Thanks, Wadi. Gives it off to Deledio a long way from home. They'll well, go yeah. bananas. They will go absolutely up. And they have every reason. What a goal. Well, I thought he was in kicking range. Jack King, he might have thought it was just going to be a struggle for him. That's a bomb from Brent Deledio. I mean, by the time he actually gets it, he's the one that chips it over to Jake King. It's a nice little spot up. They had some loose numbers and he found him there. Jake King, they're getting plenty of the ball in this uh, third term, the Tigers, but the hand pass to Lydia, who unloads from outside 50. That's a sensational. Well, it's all Richmond in the third term, room 51 possessions to 28. Even though it's only 8, 7, the inside 50s, they're controlling the ball. Let's go down to Jacko on the boundary line. Jacko? Yeah, Jason, uh, Hayden Ballantyne in the hands of the trainer. He's done a couple of run-throughs, and they're just working him over at the minute. Doesn't look good at this early stage. But what does look good, though, Jacko, is this Richmond outfit. A just, point lead again. They're just not going away. Their energy's right up, and they can sniff victory here, Richmond. And they go forward again. Cochin, Nahas, the energetic Nahas. He's tackling crime. The push-up king just latched on. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. But the satellite is a it? sensational tackle. I tell you what, the Hayden Ballantyne injury is a big one to keep an eye on because if he doesn't play anymore, <laughs> that's a big loss for the Doppers. It's like the David Roden injury yeah. last night. Yep. So we'll watch that one with interest. Fremantle. Four wins on the road last year. Two at Eddie Head Stadium. They didn't get to play at the MCG until the finals last year. Good work by Richmond again. Pierce went hard, might have been ridden into the back. See, they had him cold there too. They just needed to be a little bit more circumspect with their approach. Just take it easy and trap him with the footy, just not fall on his back. Have you seen Clancy Pierce's first game this year? Uh, not oh. bad. He, he gets himself uh, into some good positions, doesn't he? And that was a. He's up to. Uh, well, he's had a couple of possessions in this third term, Clancy Pierce. Palmer towards Bradley, takes the mark, free kick, you take the pick. Seven possessions for the match. And I guess Kepler Bradley's having the shot, route, but that's because of the gutsy call by Clancy Pierce to take a risky, risky option through the corridor. Yes, uh, it was perfect kick, and if you, don't, if you don't have the courage to go back inside, 
and uh, do the risky t uh, kicks in modern day football, you you're not going to be a good side. And uh, it's just so important to be able to hit your targets uh, where there's not much room for error because it opens, it opens up opportunities like this. Coming off a career high four goals against the Bulldogs two weeks ago, he's lining up to equal that. Kepler Bradley, the former bomber, uncomplicated football, stands and delivers. Game on! for Kepler Bradley. Straight. Amazing stuff. And he's done it for most of the year. He's been a multiple goal scorer on so many occasions. He leads hard. He puts himself in good spots. He's, he's not incredibly quick, but he uses the body well. He covers ground and works hard for the course of the match. And it's starting to reap benefits, isn't it? Four goals. He's, that's a beautiful kick. He's worked out the best way to get the most out of himself. That is Hayden Ballantyne. We might check in with Glenn Jakovic once again, Jacko. I think boys have ruled him out. He's saying he's good to go, but I think the hierarchy have said no. Nah, sit it out and he just shook his head in a uh, bit of disappointment. Won't yeah. win that argument, Chris Bond. That is a loss for the Dockers, but that means Dylan Roberton will be activated the sub. And uh, for Richmond, that'll be Ben Nason at some point. Sanderlands again. Palmer to Fife. Towards McPhee. Good spoil. We'll get back there. Martin tracks him. What are his numbers, please, Jase? Uh, Dustin Martin has had six possessions. You know, we've spoken at times about having the courage of, of kicking that attacking kick to a dangerous position. For the people at home, it's not just about courage. You've got to have the skill to back it up to make that kick because if it's courage without skill, then the courage becomes stupidity. You've actually <laughs> got to have the skill to pull the kick off, not just think that you can do it. Low up. Heard the call. A lot of players around the ball. Important clearance coming up. Either way, five. Tried to give the handle off to Lower. Had the arm of Cotchen. Good contest. Both desperate. Pavlich. Ground ball gather. High ball. Bradley's everywhere at the moment. Get in front. Get the free kick. Ooh, he's creating all sorts of problems, isn't he? Six foot six and a half, Bradley. So not an easy guy to match up on. And runs for the entire match. And Kepler will go long towards Maine. Big fly, back of the pack, buffeted off the ball. Richmond with numbers, Grimes did well. Great composure, Rance. They are full of confidence, Richmond. Still got a quarter to play. They lead by two points. Miller corridor football. A give and go from Edwards. Chipping ball. Got there. Out wide. Cotchen ignores that and goes straight up the middle of the ground. Oh, okay. Worm burning <laughs> kick. And down low, slips catch Martin. Now, you don't have to get 25 or 30 possessions to have an impact. And Dustin Martin just needs to reassess what his goals are going to be. He, we know he can go forward and play as that leading, marking, mid-sized forward. He's got an opportunity here to get on the scoreboard. He might, only, he might play forward and only get four kicks, but if you kick three or four goals, you've had a big impact. And that's the attitude he's got to approach it with. What about the month of football for the second year player? 25, 28, 33 and 35 possessions. Averaging a lazy 31. Quite today. But this is a big kick in the context of the game. 51. Distance is not a problem. Dustin Martin, you little beauty. That's exactly what we're talking about, Shorty. You've just mentioned he's played four big games where he's gone 30, 28, 27. Those sorts of numbers. He's not going to have those numbers today. No way, no. And he's had seven possessions, but he gets a goal room. That gives you an opportunity to feel like you're contributing. Yeah, forget about what you've done in the first half. Think about what you can do in the second half. Think about how you can have an influence on the second half of the game. And if it's up forward, kicking goals and making the most of opportunities, and that's what it's got to be. First goal for the afternoon to Dustin Martin. Hasn't had a lot of the ball. That is Hayden Ballantyne. Looks as though he's out of the game. I would suspect hamstring with the ice on yep. the back. So you're never going to win that argument because you don't want to push a slightly strained or twinging hamstring and then risk tearing it. So And they worked on it for a long period of time, boys. I think they've uh, uh, conservative and ruled him out. Yep. It's Jacko, Mark Harvey. Still hasn't activated the substitution. Dylan Roberton. They have now. Clancy Pierce starting to get some telling possessions. Hill quiet in this second half. It comes over to Pitt. Jaden Pitt, we've got it on both sides. Well, 
just as we expect. Whenever one team looks like they're starting to get a grip on things, the other team answers. And Brisbane have had a, a terrific five or ten minutes of play, but now it's the Doggers' turn. And it really came from nothing. Just a, a contest for a ground ball there. Jaden Pitt picks it up and off one step kicks truly. That's the look you don't like. <laughs> Wearing the red vest, that means you're done, but <laughs> they had to play it cautious. He's too important a player to risk with a serious hamstring. That means Dylan Robinson into the game. Yeah, and the, with no other injuries, why not get your sub on, get some fresh legs on. It's about the right time that you'd be activating it anyway. Would it be a stretch to say one of the games of the year? Well, it's been a quality game. and a very good Absolutely. game. Absolutely. We saw one with Fremantle a couple of weeks ago against the Bulldogs at Patterson Stadium. And just add to that, Schroeder, they were gone. But one thing about Fremantle, they'll keep coming. They'll keep coming and believing in their disciplines, and that's what they're doing in their second and third quarters. Big bombing ball from Monday. Richmond players went up. A lot of them committed. You know, they've been involved in a lot of great games this year, Freo. They played the great one at Geelong, the only one that they lost over at Patterson Stadium. That was a beauty. So they're playing a good brand of footy, and they're bringing out the best in the opposition as well. I'll tell you what, young Fife starting to get him uh, get his way into the game as well. He's just starting to have a big influence. Graham, a rare victory. Grimes goes to ground, ran into Bachelor. And to Newman. Kick might have been partly smothered up towards King. <laughs> Don't go off too hard, Jake. You know, give away 50. And Berlo, brother of the Adelaide version. We'll head down the line, watch for Sanderlands to leap and launch. A long way down. Yeah, he just didn't get the kick in the right spot. Too far away from Aaron Sanderlands. He couldn't quite get there. Clearance is 10-4 for the quarter in favour of uh, Fremantle. They're up in inside 50s as well, 12 to 9 now. It's just their kicking efficiency that's letting them down, isn't it? Hawley, slick hands, Rance. Goes to Delidio. It's a hurried kick on the boot. Jackson did well. That was a fantastic effort yeah, to make that ground up. Gets up in a hurry. Too Wants far, an option. Too far. Touches the ground. Oh. Haven't seen that type of touch on the ground for a long time. See, I thought he was going to run too far, but he's caught in two minds. Nahas. Chipping ball. Poor oh. kick. Big oh. bone rattling bump. And the free kick's going, Matthew. No, it's not. It's going to the ball. Gee, that was harsh. a big hit. He ran for a mile there, White. He ran and ran and ran and then just put his body yes. on. Is that a free kick against him? It's not. It didn't look like much there, but that was a hard hit. He was running as hard as he could for the footy because that's who the kick was intended to. Did he take it? Then at the last minute, when he knew he couldn't get there, he tried to pull up. Well, he earns respect. He was courageous. Fight the big ball, top of the goal square. Desperate spoil. Bounces to Van Burlo. Kept it in, but only as far as Conkar. Arms almost pinned. Grimes. Rance under a fair bit. Foley. Good composure, Richmond. Nahas likes to take them on and will get it to take them on through the middle back to Jackson it's his third he may get it again little Robin continues to run Delidio will do the same oh, supporting just play come off the bench Graham. oh look at this he'll weave through the corridor he'll put it long Vickery. he's got Rackman the big leap Vickery brings it to ground Rewild has only got two shouldn't say only it's been well held Trent Cotchell was going spare when Angus Graham kicked the footy because he'd just come off the bench, wanted the hand pass. Great pressure from the Richmond forwards. They're on free out here, guys. They're on. Hooley's got to go on Grover. Grover went to ground. Brought Hooley into it. Fife in support. Here they are. Outstanding game of Bradley football. Again. Main is all alone inside 50. Kick is on its way. Rance has to go. Get contact. Did well. Brought it to ground. Alex Rance outstanding. And the gather. What a game of football. Delidio, oh. what a mark. What a cracking game. They've got numbers in the middle of the ground too. He's got a loose play right in the middle if he squares up his vision. That's Bachelor. He's got players loose forward of the ball. Greek. Jackson very short next to the interchange gates. Just for putting the news. They get Brown's bugger. Fremantle. A one man down. Valentine off the ground. And Robertson, the substitution, has been activated. I've got a feeling there's going to be some tight players soon because it's been played at a frenetic pace in this third term. <laughs> the last five minutes has been full on, full on one way and then the other. Here you go, Richmond again. Delidio, Bachelor, was on play. Oh, there oh. He is a gimme. Jumping Jack. Right in front of the adoring Richmond fans of the punt road end. Listen.
to know it. Gee, this is a big, big decision because it wasn't a pinpoint pass. Sean Grigg just threw it on the boot after he got the hand pass from Deledio. But McFarland obviously grabbed hold of Jack Reebok to stop him getting to where the ball was heading, and this is costly. Listen to the roar. These target cubs are growing into young men, and they're doing it nicely. The lead is out to eight points. Well, that's a massive, uh, massive decision. And you look, you make the most of it as a forward. You take them when you get them. That just shows that all of a sudden, Freo are starting to feel the pressure. Luke McFarland, he's had a very good battle with Jack Revolt. Revolt hasn't had a lot of the ball. He's only had the four possessions, but he's got uh, three kicks for two goals now. So he's actually having an impact with limited possessions. And Freo are just starting to think, hang on a minute. We can't shake these blokes, and all of a sudden they've got themselves eight points in front. The Tigers, they're up and about. The crowd feels like it's doubled in size, the noise they're making. <laughs> Third time in this quarter they've led by eight points. They've also led by nine, Richmond. Fremantle, dogged, determined, won't go away. Pavlich, Robertson the substitution. He needs to have an influence, Robertson. Good spread by Graham. Bert Hawley, look at him, on his bike. Dashing run off half-back, kick needs to be good, Martin over the top, Rewalt. Lunging, might have been touched off the boot, good tackle by Martin, good work, King, Rewalt, all involved, now it's Fremantle's defenders under pressure, they prize it free, Nahas, can he keep it in? No, you listen to the crowd, it sounds like there's 60 or 70,000 here all of a sudden. <laughs> well, imagine if they start making oh, fires. I, I think they smell four points, the Tigers. The Tiger Army is ready to roar, let me tell you. They won four in a row last year, six for the season. They possibly could have won three by the end of today. Holy strength. He can really kick it from there. Go back, Basher. Now he moves it on quickly. Better position. Oh, Angus Graham. Now, Angus Graham. Good spread from the contest. Sandlands was back where it originally started. So all of a sudden, it's Richmond starting to dictate play. Angus Graham, he's the one that broke from the contest and put himself in attacking space. What he's got to do now is reward the work, kick the goal, and lift his teammates. Give them that break that they haven't had for this match and put some serious doubt in the minds of the Dockers players. Seems strange saying this. Richmond are lining up for their 13th goal in the last two quarters. Graham, big kick, huge kick, Go. big boy, steps up, leans back, and puts it straight through the middle. Massive goal for Richmond. They're just starting to get some real momentum here. I think they smell a victory. That's a fantastic kick by the boys. They've just kicked the last two goals. Now the Tigers are really starting to uh, take control of this game. We have a look here. Uh, Basher Hurley, he's had an influence. Great kick across to Vicky. He ran hard to get some freedom there. And uh, a beautiful kick by him. Basher Hurley, too strong there in that contest at the 50 metre mark, but looked across, didn't go back and kick the goal. He has kicked them from 50 already today. Unselfish, found uh, Vickery in a better position and a great effort. They have kicked seven straight for the quarter. Richmond seven straight to four goals, two for Fremantle. 13 goals in just under two quarters, Richmond. Delidio, Bachelor and Hawley leading possession winners, all defenders. Cotchin, Delidio again, 10, showed some candy and sliced them straight up the middle. Rewald, oh, oh, got tunneled, no. Big four to ground, Nahas, back to ground. Look at the spread from Richmond. They are sensing it. He could have nearly killed himself there, Jack Rewald. Get it. The, the, the leap was unbelievable. He ended up horizontal to the ground. Oh, oh, that. He could have oh, that's oh, it, done serious damage to himself. Oh, What's oh, going oh, on there? Oh, the Tigers are coming. Look, we mentioned Brett Deledio. <laughs> Brett Delidio got moved up to the wing this quarter. He's had 10 possessions. The halfbacks in Bachelor and Hooley providing fantastic run. Now the siren goes. They've got a 14 point lead. This for 20. A massive confidence boost for the Tigers if he kicks it. After the siren, they will go insane. What a game of football. <laughs> After the siren, Vickery with three. Tigers on the verge of three in a row at the MCG. Don't go anywhere.
been an inspired performance, but a quarter to go. What have Fremantle got? Can they come back like they did against the Bulldogs two weeks ago? We're about to find out. Sanderlands again, clean to Pavlich. Got it away. Deledio's been important and influential in this second half. Had 10 clearances, Pavlich. So is the former bomber. Cotchen, look out. Main, great chase down from behind. Picked up with McGuan. Graham, another spread again. Yeah, he's starting to actually get mobile. Maybe big Aaron Sandlands is tiring because he's he's done virtually the majority of the ruck work and it's got to take its toll no matter how good an athlete you are. He wants a ruckman to come forward and that was victory, but not before Johnson got there. Yeah, really good mark there from Johnson. And they need to kick the first goal of the last term. I think if the Dockers don't get the first goal of the last term, they're going to find it very difficult. He needs to lift Johnson, only had the four touches. Mundy's been very good for Fremantle. Coming up for possession number 22. Pavlich the best with 26. Kick the last three goals of the game, Richmond. Oh. Poor kick over the top. Cotchen almost stole it and then stole it back was Hill. Oh, well done. A little bit of individual brilliance. Kepler Bradley's been brilliant all day. Got oh, no. four. He lines up and goes long to Sandlands. Grimes a great spoil. Fife the gather. Can't gather it cleanly. There's the opening score. It was a good kick from uh, Bradley because he, he wanted it one out from the square. As we see Ben Nason about to come on for the Tigers. He's warming up. That's their substitute. will give him some fresh legs. And Matt White is the player that has been substituted. But Sandlin's there deep in the goal square. Wanted it. Good Tigers defence getting back to make a two on one. Newman gets it out to Deledio. Almost had it on the second attempt. It opens up the door for Fremantle. They desperately need to get the opening goal as Jay said. Goal, I should say. Up towards Maine. Grimes just knows his role, Grimes. Or is that out in the full? It is. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. The ball spilled down and just caught the leg of Dylan Grimes and it's been declared out in the full. So any part of the leg below the knee counts as a kick. This is a big kick for Chris Mayne. He's going to run around here if he comes in like that. Left foot or banana? He's going the left foot. Yep. This will be a big goal. They desperately need it. Oh. Almost. Bad kicking for Fremantle, really starting to hurt them now. They actually had one goal eight at one stage, guys, so they've kicked 12 goals four since then. So that first quarter, as we said earlier on, could cost them the game. He's kicked one three, Chris, mate. Newman to himself again. Looking for revolt long. Ben well, Mason on, boys. Thanks, Jacko, the substitute for the Tigers. Rewalt did well. Yeah, good Did work. very well. Kept it alive for Deledio. Nahas just loves the football, Robin. Jackson floats it back. Rance needs to be good, and he is. Paul, he's been very good. He has. He's been terrific. Had the job on Ballantyne early, and that was an enthralling battle. But really thriving now that Ballantyne's not there to worry about. Coming off a couple of big weeks. He's Batchel Hawley, 30 possessions against Brisbane. Bachelor around the corner, Nason. Long locks are gone. He looks different, doesn't he? Got rid of his hair. His mum's currently battling breast cancer. And he's got a great opportunity now to come on and have an impact because he can run. And as you said, Chief, at halftime, we wish Ben and his mum, Wendy and the family, yep. all the very best in her very private battle. And all the ladies out there dealing with this insidious illness. Bachelor. Just really starting to feel comfortable on the big stage, Richmond. What they've got to do, though, is not yeah. forget what got them in front. Exactly. Foley! Nathan Almost. Foley, it's dangerous to stand and wait for the footy. You've got to attack it. They've played attacking football. Yeah. They've taken risks. They've got to continue to do that. They've got to kick four or five goals. That's the attitude they've got to have if they want to get home. A lot of yeah. movement. They're going to get trapped in their uh, defensive 50 here if they're not careful. Rance. And it will work for him. Just takes one turnover, Swatter. And Hooley. Oh! Hands in the back, so he got the free kick. Lucky, because he actually wasn't paid the mark. He fumbled it over the line. He seemed to be hell-bent on getting out of Essendon last year. And seems pretty happy at Punt Road. Yeah, well, look, he's getting a, a responsibility role, you know, coming off half-back. He's playing on dangerous forwards, but he's also got the job to rebound and provide run and carry. Might there be, he goes again. Might have been happy at Essendon this year, too. <laughs> Possibly, but he'll be happy there. Greek will work the boundary line. Jackson, Hawley again, need a runner. Comes in the form of McGuire. Great chase by Kepler. Oh, 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 how far? Floats it to King. He had to wait. Yeah. Sitting on him. Oh, oh slick hands from Foley. 
to Nason. He'll dart the boundary line. Graham one out with Sander Lands, and that's a small win. That's the second player that's tried to kick it over Aaron Sandler's today and didn't carry. Let's Matthew have a look White. at Matty White. Yeah, it's, uh, it's that clash that we saw where we thought he was very unlucky to give away a free kick. Is that He's... a free kick against White? <laughs> yes. That is ridiculous. No, I know. I know. Hill did well to keep it in. Shut down by Rewald. Palmer out of bounds. Ball was it. Edwards, excellent. Cotchen, first option. Just held on fractionally up towards Bradley. Oh, good mitt. I'm, look, am I looking at the same person? Yeah, I know. This is remarkable. <laughs> it really is. I mean, his elevation to a consistently good player is phenomenal. Most people develop and improve around 18, 19, 20, not <laughs> late 20s. Nice mark, Fife. Got it to Pierce. Can think about drawing it. Decides to pull the trigger. And from a long way oh. out, just to the wrong side. Well, that's a couple of opportunities they've had the Dockers, but they haven't been able to get themselves on the scoreboard. And boys, that's hurt them again. Boys, Luke McGuan's just gone downstairs. After that uh, chase from Kepler Bradley behind, he was just clutching to his hamstring. So I'll keep you posted. He's that's, downstairs. That's what happens when you use your yeah. sub. Did say that, Chief. And, uh, that was good work by Martin. But Pavlich through the corridor. Can the captain someone. kick a skipper's goal? He lowers the vision, stabs the kick. McPhee to track it back. He apologises. Just wasn't quite what he was looking for. Did this go out of bounds when Reese Palmer took it over? Sure did. It looked like it, didn't it? The goal up by the boundary up was obstructed because he was uh, on the other side of the ball. Must capitalise now, Fremantle. He'll reset and do it again. They'll lead by 17 points, Richmond. Kicked eight goals straight to four goals, two in that third quarter. Fremantle 7-1 to 6-5 in the second. It was all a two-point lead to Fremantle at half time. Hard work by Cotchen. Comes out to Sandlands. Great smother. Outstanding work by Grime. No, it was Bachelor. He's been good. And away goes Comca. The belief grows. Martin, quiet afternoon. It's a How about race. that for a lazy thumping 65 metre drop punt up towards King? Paddled it forward. Rewalt just peels off. King goes again. Now it's Rewalt's turn. The push up King gives a shepherd. Porton, <laughs> Robin Nahas, works the boundary line. Now goes outside. I think he played for a free kick there, Jack Rewalt. <laughs> it's great to watch Jack King. Did you see him dive over the top? He thought he was Superman. Yeah, look. That's a great smother, isn't it? Nearly copped a boot in the head for his trouble. Terrific stuff from the youngster. Now Bradley in the run. And the free kick goes to Tyrone Vickery. Handball to Greg. Off a step. It's a high ball. Miller. One out. Wrestling match. Brought it to ground. Running underneath the ball was Rewalt. Grover. Robertson. And they're out. He'll run Hill. And he will keep running. Two. Keep going. Out a third. Over the top. Forced to wait. McPhee's got some work. That's not a great kick from Hill. He had to get some elevation on it. Again, look, it's, it's a poor free kick to give away by McPhee, but the, the Hill kick gave him no chance. A lot of tired players now. Chet Colchin in the middle of the ground, hands on knees. Not so much fluid movement. I wonder if he was Stooge just making <laughs> Matty Pavlis think, I'm tired, I'm not going to lead up for the ball. The old Robert Harvey <laughs> trip. <laughs> give a fall for that, Rue. <laughs> Three minutes into the opening quarter. Oh, he, he was very good at doing that. Every stoppage he used to do. It. What a player he was. What a player Cotchen is proving to be. Good lead from Jackson. Good hard running. Important player, Daniel Jackson. Three lots, uh, three uh, suspensions in the last 20 games for the Tigers, and he's missed six weeks. Can't afford to have him out. That's what they are doing. They're controlling the footy really well. Drifting forward is Hawley. Good attempt by the ball. Edwards, the releasing handball. Cotchen, can he stand and deliver? You better believe it. Tell the difference between the two sides. I was just saying there they're controlling the footy well. Kicking efficiency. And you never would have dreamt that Richmond were going to operate at 77%. That's enormous. Yeah. And Fremantle, a lowly 52%. Yeah, that's kicking efficiency, and that's... Uh, that includes goal kicking. It does. It's a fair difference. And uh, if, if Fremantle want to win this game, they've got to start manning up a bit more. They're, uh, they're playing the press, but they've got to put some pressure on. 
He was wasteful in front of goals last week against Brisbane. Three behinds, 25 possessions. He's corrected that. Three goals this afternoon from 21 uh, disposals. Yeah, it makes for a, a nice little performance, doesn't it? Halfway through the last quarter. He's been one of the stars. Quiet first quarter. He only had four possessions in the first quarter. He really got himself up and going since quarter time. The last four goals of the game. Richmond, five of the last six. Mundy to five, just has to wait. Critical, they get a goal quickly. Basha Hawley oh, overcommitted. No, five. five did well. Circles around. Main must take the mark. Had a good piece of it. Pierce, another outstanding smother. This time, Luke McGuan copied the lead of Bachelor, and that's desperation. Well, he got the all clear on that uh, hamstring twinge, which is good for Richmond. Luke McGuan, that's brilliant. A full length dive to smother the ball. Fantastic play. And they relieve for the moment. The boot of Bachelor. Have they done enough? Been impressed by Jake Bachelor. 19 possessions for him down in the defensive 50. He's been very, very good. Just under 12 and a half to play. He rides every bump, bruise, and goal and behind Damien Hardwick. And Martin loves to bump, loves to bruise. And gives it to Edwards. Strolls down the broadcast wing. One out is Cochin. Works to the front. Comes to ground. Rewalt gives it off to Foley. Intelligent play. King should have run onto the ball. Buffett's his opponent out of the way. Vickery. The layoff to Mason almost affected. King again. Hard work. Freeman are under enormous pressure. The ball was excellent. To Palmer. That wasn't good. Mason. Richmond. Kick was smothered. It's been a highlight in this last half. Conker put his head over the ball. Won it. Bachelor scrubbed it. Cochin goes to ground. Ridden into the back. No free kick. Oh. Well done by Ibbotson. Oh. Soccer style. Gets 50 metres. Gets ball by Grimes. Freeman on must get a goal and quickly. Conker overran it. Hands in the back. No free kick. They should score here. The here they go. Pavlich. Fremantle player is down. That's five middle of the ground. Richmond have done well. They just kept fumbling the Dockers. They didn't handle the ball cleanly. And little Jakey King. Handled it over the top. Five seriously injured in the middle, boys. I reckon he's done a groin or something like that. Martin Rewald had it. Cochin needs to think his way through, and he does. Looks like he's shoulder. holding the right shoulder, yeah. Richmond, though, they're just full of running. They've doubled the possession count of Fremantle. And here we go. Five goes in. He slides in, and he goes straight over the top of it. This diving into the footy is a dangerous way. It's a bad uh, technique, and uh, it's really started to creep into the game the last few years. But you do that, you'll get hurt. Four goals to Trent Cochin, and more importantly, Jace, Tigers have kicked the last five goals of the match, 29-point lead. Yeah, he looks like the match winner, Trent Cochin. Not easy to sell the dummy to two blokes in the goal square without actually taking a step and then kick the goal. Brilliant in heavy traffic. They're just dominating possession in the fourth term, 65-32 to 32 the total possessions. Well, they beat Fremantle corresponding game last year at Eddie Head Stadium. And they look as though they'll get the job done at the MCG. It's a graveyard for Fremantle. Foley, Rewalt over the top was McFarlane. Johnson. Oh, oh what a risky that? kick. Jackson almost took the mark by default. Broughton went low. Jackson got up, ridden into the ground. No free kick. Pavlich. Robertson, the substitute. Mason Richmond, substitute, is also on the ground. Pierce went to ground, Robertson again, Pavlich continues to work hard, the captain. Wasteful in front of goal in the opening quarter, Fremantle, and that has been costly. Nearly a sensational kick that if it travelled another metre. An intelligent tap from McGuan. Growing by the minute, Richmond. And they've got loose players on the rebound. Naha, so good in that opening half, one way or the other to Graham, he's got better as the game's gone on. He puts a wobbling ball up towards Miller and Rewalt. Rewalt goes to ground. Duffield needs to be clean. Good tackle by Jackson. Got it to Grigg. Doesn't have a lot of options. It was a tight angle and it was too tight. Hardwick wanted uh, Richmond to win the contested ball for the quarter and that's something they haven't been able to do all night. Here's a replay of Fife again sliding in. Full weight of the body of, uh, was it McGuan on top of him? 
Uh, yep. Doesn't matter who it was, it was some 80, 90 kilos right on top, and that shoulder couldn't handle that, and that's popped. 22 to 19 contested possessions, that's what I was talking about. First quarter for the game, they've been able to win that area. Clearance is 6-2 as well, so a big turnaround there. Matty Pavlich certainly uh, giving his utmost for the club. He's had 31 possessions and kicked the goal, still full of running. 34,090 people have turned up today and enjoyed a great game of football, especially if you're barrack for Richmond, Maine. Nice mark on the stretch in front of Nason. Well, they've got to kick this and then follow it up with a couple of quick ones to get themselves back in the contest. The Doggers, he's been quiet today, Chris May. Nine possessions, one goal, three. All of a sudden, if you kick straight and you've got four straight or three goals, one, you're actually a player that's had an impact. But one goal, three, you've let some opportunities split, um, escape, and you, you just Has basically to letting the team down. Has to kick the goal. Touch under nine minutes to play. Richmond supporters at the punt right end to try to put him off, but to no avail. I need a couple more. Yeah, it's back to four goals, the difference now. There's uh, eight and a half minutes left in play, so they could do it. If they get on a roll, there's still enough time to do it, but they will need to be efficient, something they haven't been able to do today. Freeman, Freeman will be disgraceful with their efficiency today. 53%. I doubt whether they would have been that low all year. And uh, Pavlich leading position winner, he's going at 22%. Mundy, 42 and 540, the high position winners. Even four goal margin now. Richmond's way. Maine's got two. Kepler Bradley the best for Fremantle with four. This centre bounce critical. Sanderlands needs to be clean to a midfielder. Vickery went early. Monday the target. Back to Sanderlands. Here's an important kick. Bouncing ball. Waiting was Rance. Ducked underneath the main lunging swinging arm. Maine with a good tackle. 45 out from Fremantle's goal. It comes away from Richmond. Circle back. And head towards the safety of the outer side. Towards Greg Pavlich again. Taking it upon himself to lift his team. Yeah, it turns it over again. Rue was just talking about uh, kicking efficiency. I'll, I'll give Manny Pavlich a wrap. He's had 33 possessions, but when you're kicking it barely over 20%, all of a sudden that 30 doesn't look anywhere near as good. <laughs> Sanderlands again from Monday. They've combined well all afternoon. Having said that, the kicking efficiency is also an indication that Richmond's pressure has been very good today. Yes, it has, yep. On top of McPhee's head, grinds the spoil, arriving late and fast was Pierce. McGuan, Vickery, and out of bounds deliberately. That'll work. I couldn't pay that job. <laughs> seen, did you see the Lee Montagna decision from yes. Brisbane about three weeks ago, Chief? Yep. Boys, what's been impressive when Richmond have been challenged, especially down back, they haven't panicked. They've made good decisions and they've had numbers at the contest at each time backing each other. Yep. Jack Saul, Jack Edwards. He shimmed his way through traffic. Miller, Nason and Robertson, the substitutions. Nason, the toe poke, ground to ground. Rewalt, the grab, oh. the spin, the boot on ball. Intelligent, Robert Nahas to close it out. Tigers on their way to three in a row. has probably kicked the winning goal. He's been the guy that sparked him in the first quarter. 27 disposals and three goals. Big mistake coming up here. We see one of the uh, Jack Rewald. He uh, should have been tackled yeah, there. He got the, kicked the ball forward. Nahas on the end of it. But uh, I think it was Robertson that should have tackled. And he didn't. And it probably cost him any chance they had of getting back into the game. What a fantastic performance by Richmond. Well, he came into this game, Robin Nahas, coming off consecutive career high performances, 26 possessions against the Kangaroos and uh, 26 possessions against Brisbane. Well, he's done better. 27 today and three goals. Yeah, he's enjoying a greater responsibility given to him by Damien Hardwick this season. Lower. Plenty of time in the midfield. Bangs it inside 50. Rance. Always a good sign when defenders are growing in confidence and prepared to peel off. Yeah, well, I worry when some defenders <laughs> start to think they can do anything out of defence. They only just got out of jail. They did it. Got it to Greg. Listen to the Tigers supporters. They've enjoyed it this afternoon. Towards Jakey King. Yeah. Look at that of it, No, the body works quite his strength, Jake, against a bigger opponent there. He might disagree with you, Chief, if he ever hears the replay of that. No, no, no. He's, he's, been, he's, been, well. he's <laughs> been terrific, but he just got lost in the turnaround there. 
High ball. Great mark by Grimes. <laughs> and they'll do it again. Clutchin, Newman, the skipper. Now he's got Jake King in space. He's leading this young Richmond out. Don't kick you kick you Jakey King, the Batman of Robin, to Miller. Centering ball. It's alive still. Grover. Farland and eventually Fife is back on. Good to see him back on the ground. Yeah, they strapped up his shoulder and uh, he's back on. They work the outer edge of the centre square. Pitt towards Pierce. Again, a lunging, spoiled, courageous work through traffic. Rance. He's been good, Rance, hasn't he? And it is still in a dangerous position. Oh, that's a bit fortunate. Just the old duck the head. Did have his head down, I think, in his uh, defence. Well, we've got. Five and three-quarter minutes to play, and this small but passionate Richmond crowd will lift the roof of the MCG after this one. All of a sudden, Vickery and Graham, when they were matched up against Sandlins, are running, spreading, and getting Jackie the ball. Jackie King. Basha Hawley to the goal square. It gets a kind bounce. Jake lets it go through. Basha Hawley, you little star. Yeah, 20 disposals and two goals, one for Hooley. He's been great today. He's found space out on the wing. He's run forward. He's kicked some beautiful kicks long and uh, a great pickup really for Richmond. I was surprised that uh, he uh, got uh, let to go by Essen and, and, and what a beautiful kick from well outside 50 again. And Jake King doing the uh, unselfish thing and letting it go through. <laughs> This is getting a bit ugly for Fremantle, 36 point deficit. Richmond have kicked seven of the last eight goals. It is, and they'll be disappointed with the effort, but we can't take any credit away from the Tigers. They grow in confidence, their performance levels are on the rise. This, is the, this sort of victory is going to take them a long way in terms of raising the benchmark and their own expectations of what they're capable of now. Monday heads towards Bradley. He's certainly been very good. Coming through hard was lower. This Richmond defensive end is starting to gel. He is desperate. Brad wants ball. Bar says throw back in. Richmond have kicked 12 goals, 1 to 5 5 in the second half. See, that's good conversion, isn't it? That was a good call by you, uh, Shwana, saying he lets it go. I reckon he did just about everything he possibly could to touch that there, Jake. <laughs> oh, and selfish. somehow just didn't touch he it. Caressed it. it. No. Hawley, another <laughs> possession. Cotchen. Just drags his teammates with him. Nahas. They're Here they great. go again. They are. Cotchen. Saw Nason out the corner of his eye. Jakey King. He'll arc around Jake. Give it off to Hawley. Chance for three. They all peel off. Gives it back. Delidio can unleash with a long penetrating ball. Nahas. He tried to copy Jake. Did he, he get a big it. nail on it? He touched it. All he had to do was mark it or let it go. Boy, aren't they finishing with a flourish, the Tigers? They are full of running. And yet, three are the ones that have had the bye. You'd think they'd be full of running in this last quarter. The bye is causing some real trouble for sides this year. Well, that'll be 8 of 11 that have lost <laughs> after coming off the bye. I reckon they missed uh, They missed Ballantyne when he went yeah. off. And they missed a number of golden opportunities in that first quarter. They kicked two goals, eight to Richmond, 3-2. Bradley, he hasn't missed. Kick four this afternoon to go with his career best four against the Bulldogs. Swarming pressure again. And then when they win it, they run. Foley will go in the direction of Rewalt. Kick Foley read it well. Oh, the little man just put the big man down. Jakey King, one more for the showreel. Over his partner in crime. And Robin nails it. <laughs> Special. Disposals and four goals. Cutchins at 25 and four goals. And uh, what a great game by uh, Richmond. This could be a season defining game. They'll get a huge amount of confidence out of this. They've kicked 13 goals, one in the second half. They're running away from it. They want more. They're not going to stop yet. They're probably likely to kick another couple of goals and really rub some salt in the wounds. Let's not take the gloss off a great Richmond performance, but what does this say about Fremantle? Well, look, I, I think they gave it their all. They just ran out of tricks in the end. They didn't play well enough. They didn't use the ball well enough. And I think when the realisation set in that they weren't going to win the game, they've effectively just fallen off. And Richmond, to their credit, 
Well, they're making every post a winner. They are going to run it right out strongly to the final siren and make the most of it. And turn it into a almost a percentage booster in the end. Well, it's a 43-point win. Oh, sorry, I should say lead at the moment. They're not done with yet, Bachelor. Martin slick handball. Bachelor continues to push forward. Jakey King had a quick beep hope. Had a quick look around. Saw the big man. I'll stay down. What was he doing there, Jake? Yeah, squat. Squat with his arms up. <laughs> I'm not sure what that one. But you know what? He did the right thing. Uh, the kick yeah. was intended for Jack Revolt. The big power forward was coming out. He did what a little man should do. He sat down and looked. If there were going to be crumbs, he was there. Eight of the last nine goals. What a performance this has been. Tigers, three in a row. Rewalt, four, and celebrates. It's been a good return for Jack Rewalt, four goals, because he's been, I, personally, I think McFarlane's certainly had the better of it. He hasn't looked uh, dangerous on the lead at all, he's, but he's got weight of ball coming down. And he's had plenty of opportunities. That was a good kick in the end. He really lost McFarlane on that occasion. But I would have said McFarlane's won the head-to-head uh, -head battle on points. But when you've got four goals next to you, know, it's hard to argue. Yep. He's made the most of every opportunity. Six goals to one in this final quarter. He needs one more to equal his career best against Fremantle. 116 disposals to 60 in the last quarter. Pretty sombre affair in the Fremantle coaches' box. Though. I don't think they'd like what they've seen in this last turn. Next month for the Tigers, they take on the Bulldogs, Essendon, Port Adelaide in Darwin, and then they have the bye. Well deserved. Any chance of Jacko going to interview Harvey? <laughs> Greg, we've just got the appetite for a kill here this afternoon, Richmond. Nason, Miller, the protection. Rewald had a piece of it and went to ground. Hill out of bounds. And what would be disappointing for Mark Harvey is the ease that Richmond were able to finish this game. There's not a lot of fight left. They're the team that you said that come off the off the bye, and Richmond are just finishing off so strong. Are they done with Richmond? What a second half of football they have played. Fremantle led by two points after it was all square at quarter time. They led by 20 points at three quarter time, and at the moment, 49 point lead. Rance, had a bit of it too, Alex Rance, so is Newman, Delidio, a long way from home, Tor. will let it rip, won't get the distance, Hill gets back there, I don't know if oh, anyone touched that, it hit the that's post. lucky, no one touched it but it hit the post, it's interesting we heard uh, Glenn Jagovic talking to Damien Hardwick at three quarter time, he said he asked his players to win the contested possession. He asked his players to keep running. They've done everything he asked. But make no mistake, Mark Harvey would have asked for a similar sort of effort from his players. They haven't produced it. And we're really seeing to see the recriminations of that. Robertson. No, that's Ibbotson, I should say. Their next month, Fremantle. West Coast at home. Port Adelaide at Amy Stadium. St Kilda at Patterson Stadium. And then Hawthorne. A the long flight home to Perth tonight. To Cheers. dust themselves off because West goes to be a pretty good, reasonable form. Say, it'll be a good local derby next week. That'll be a beauty. They've improved. Yeah. Derby, boys. Derby. Sorry. Jacko. West Australia. And McFarlane. Can head down the line. Robin Nahas almost steals it. McPhee. Took his time. Pops it up. Main just worked his way to the front and takes an easy mark. Quite sure what the boos are coming for. <laughs> Maybe they just want to see some more Tigers goals. They're enjoying it, the crowd. Wouldn't have had too many 50 point wins lately. Absolutely not. Not against quality opposition. And a big step up in class today, and the Tigers have passed with flying colours. Fremantle. Four wins on the road last year. That's the question mark. Top 14 must get the wins on the road. Maine, the only goal in this quarter, has two for the afternoon. Tells the tail. He could have done the man on the mark there. It wasn't a fluent kick at all. Unfortunately for him, two goals four. Not the return he was looking for. So the roar will be special. 16 seconds to go. Three in a row for Richmond. Still a long way to go, but they're heading in the right direction. This is a big scalp for the Tigers. 
Last play. And they deserved it. Comprehensive win, Richmond, in the end. 23 goals, 10, 148. Fremantle, 14, 15, 99. Superb performance. Look at the delight on the face of Richmond coach Damien Hardwick, who shares a moment there with Robin Nahas. He was as good as absolutely anyone out on the ground, Robin Nahas. 30 possessions. He kicked four goals. And I suspect Glenn Jankovic, he might have been the player you've sought out.